Hell yeah. Hell wait, 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 yeah. Wait, wait. It's Friday. Shit. <laughs> One second. Well, we... I was, uh, I was a fool when a I left OBS in studio camper. mode. Hold on a minute. Let this gentleman continue overacting. We'll be back in it. You guys want to buy Amway yet? Alright. Bang. There we go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Ooh, I got some... Some very stark contrast going on today. I don't know what... Oh, it's because I think I have this window open and the sun's hitting... Whatever. It's like the light and the dark side. Much like Star Wars Math, Jabba's Game Galaxy. Uh, we're about to go on a journey, you guys. Through groovy educational space. This is... Music is a little out there, but okay. This is... This is like... 70s disco space, I guess. I feel like I should be wearing platform heels and there should be rings like floating around me. Star Wars has that. Sure, why not? Uh, let's see, what color do I want to be? Mm, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with a little fuchsia action. Name, though, that's tough. Sure. Whatever. Let's just, let's just fucking go for it. Let's, it's all trash. This is back when Star Wars was good. SoCal Punk, thank you for the sub. Shit! There's fucking video? This rules already! Oh, I'm so into this. Is that my math blaster? Man, I'm into it. This is... So you had a bit of a rough land. Ah, everybody crashes on Tatooine. You're too bad for you, huh? New ships don't come cheap. Oh, Derpo, thanks for the prime. You really come prepared to deal with me. That I suggest to pay a visit to Jabba's Game Plaza. You could win some credits if you're very, very lucky. Zeppo! Zeppo! Where is that droid? You just can't find good help these days. Can we talk about Watto's stomach here? Let's! It kind of looks like, uh... Questions about anything. Use this to talk with my droid. It looks like... Dough? Like dough that's rising? And there's a little bubble popping out of it? Come on, we gotta learn about Zeppo. Oh, and don't forget to have Watto give you a map of the city. Oh, yeah. A map of the city might come in handy, huh? Now you better get on with it. But like I said, go to Jabba's and win some more credits. When you do, come back and see me. Alright. Um, this is already, like, quite a bit different than the other Star Wars learning titles. Because it is under that brand, but this seems to be something else. It had a uh, whole animated intro. It's got stakes. My ship has crashed. Um, this is totally sick. If I were a kid in 2000, I would be super into this game. What year is this intended for? I'm gonna guess the animation and stuff. I'm gonna guess like grade school to, to maybe junior high. Maybe. Oh, you played this when you were a kid, Riker person? Nice. Then you, you're gonna have all the tips for me, right? You're gonna, you're gonna teach me all the secret tips and tactics? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, my profile name. Uh, uh, Beeler's Above. Uh, how did you find it? How did you get it to run? Um, there is a bit of an issue with QuickTime. You have to, you, there is like an open sourced, uh, free QuickTime replacement that can, like, you just have to drop some DLLs in your Windows folder, and it'll grab all the function calls and it'll actually make it work. There's, the PZ scene is fantastic, because at this point, everyone has developed backwards compatibility. You just have to, like, Google and read, um, which is not to say you're incapable of that. I didn't mean to apply that. It's just, it's just tough. It takes time. So, uh, it was about an evening of effort to get, once the first Star Wars learning title worked on my machine, the rest of them did too. Because they're all on, they're all running on the same tools. So if you can do that, then you're good. Uh, they're all abandonware too, so you can just download the ISO. Is that Digbutto? Oh, Digoto. Okay, never mind. Rat looks like he's wearing a little, a little skimpy bra. Hollow checks. <laughs> Job is so fucking high. Holy shit. Look at how baked that fucking hut is. Oh, man. One on the hollow checks. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We all remember that. Oh, shit. 
Well, I guess maybe I don't have maybe I don't have superpowers. This is a map of Tatooine. Roll your mouse over a place to see inside it. To visit it, just click your mouse button. Jabba would Bogart the joint. He would. No. What do you guys think? Where should we go first? I'm gonna go to Digodo. He seems friendly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Greetings. My name is Timto. This is Dijato. I love this like pre-rendered animation style. Reminds me of a lot of point-click adventures on PC at the time. This is kind of what the animation in like the old Fallout games was yes. like. You would have these like pre-rendered characters talking with like me, but. Yeah, let's see how to play Digodo. To see rule for the game. Oh. Make the highest number. I like these little dancing number droids. Oh, okay. Make the lowest number. Here they come. I'm guessing I get operators, like they're gonna give me at plus or a minus. <laughs> Where should it go? How about here? Oh, it's a competitive game. Hmm. Where should it go? How about this is Dick Butto? It's close. <sighs> Ass crack him. Oh, never mind. You're constructing a number. I did the absolute worst. Wait, what? By holding down the mouse key until the slot you want to drop the digit droid into lights up. Once the digit droid is placed, it is locked in place. No more moving it. We're still drawing? I win this time. This is a weird game. I expected like logic, logic and mathematic puzzles. This is this is none of those. Well, this is just what? Like making the lowest number revolves around like. Oh, you can move them. Oh. Can you trash the piece after playing? Let me see. Once digit droid is yeah, you can't move them once you put them down. Locked in place. No more moving it. I bet <laughs> your play gets me worked up. This only makes sense. Like this is kind of like poker rules, where they're giving you custom like poker hands to build, but you have like you you have to be able to exchange cards or something, and it you can see the other person's draw too. What? Good spot for this little guy, I think. You do not How can I make 781? If they give me f four balls and two of them are not four of three of the numbers I need. Don't I do like this little I mean I can't I can't be mad at this little guy, but I'm where you place your digit droid. Digit droid. You have to be able to like change their values, right? Down the mouse key until the slot you want to drop the digit droid into lights up. There's a rule book at the bottom. I mean, no, the the what? Nice dish of digits you got there. Yeah, I guess I got closer. Now let's play again. Match the target number 861. Well, then, like. Uh, excuse me. This is a weird game. Where hmm. should go? How about. But, like, the then the ones digit doesn't really matter. The hundreds and the tens are inordinately important. Where should it go? How about... 
I like their little foot taps when they're when they're waiting. That's cute. I didn't even notice that. I just can't be mad at these little guys. All right, so if the last one's a six, he possibly can win. But if it's not a six, he loses. Or I guess maybe actually 858 would be closer than 851. 859 would be closer than 851, right? But like, how would I... There's no way to know that. It, it's a 100% random. And about where... Like, it's evaluated judgment about how close you are? See, it's weird. It's like poker, but like, this the game type doesn't work unless you can... Unless there are multiple rounds and you can exchange balls or something. What the hell is the cage for? I don't know. To make you look at... Make you look at your failure or bad judgment for the rest of the match? Team... Would you like Team Toe to show you how to play Digoto? Yes! Pull this lever down to see rules for the game. Fuck, this is not... Make the highest number. A rule tells you to make the highest, lowest, or closest number with the digit droids. If you succeed, you win game and earn credits. Mm -hmm. Sound confusing? Mm. Let me show you. I will try to make the higher number. Excuse, please. These are digit dishes. Usually you can't see my numbers until the end of the round. I'll let you see them this time while I show you how to play. Drag your digit droid over the place value slot where you wish to drop it. Then let go of the mouse button. It will drop into the slot below. I chose the tens slot this time. Once digit we're gambling? Placed, no, because we're not wagering anything. I only stand to win, I think. Where you place them. Let's see what number comes up this time. You were thinking too much about all that there is? You just guess and hope that you guess better than the AI? Yeah, that's that's it. I, I chose the hundreds slot. I'm just I'm just sort of picking apart the uh, the, the game design and trying to figure out what they were this going time, for. I chose the ones slot. With, I, with a game named like Star Wars Math, I presumed it was going to be educational software, and, and to some degree the other ones are, so it's weird that there's a, a game type. That's it. Yeah, simple. Okay. That's straight up it. Dejoto. I get that to some degree it does reinforce the the idea of you know, decimal numbers. This game isn't educational? Maybe not. <laughs> the other Star Wars titles were somewhat educational. They at least, um... They, they at least would, would, like, exercise logical things or creative things. Here they come! Like, the ones digit doesn't matter. It's just, it's so unimportant. Um, the ones digit is basically uh, another trash. Yeah, that's too far away. So, like, if I'd put six in the trash right away, then I'd have seven, which could be closer or further away, depending on what the tens digit I get is. But, like, why would you wait for... Okay, so now I'm in trouble. <laughs> I just have to do this. Because there's... It's... Actually, it's a bit more likely... Uh, that the next digit will be further away from four than closer. I got a little... Okay, I got a bit of a break there. Give me my chips, man. Do you only get 50 for winning? Make the highest number. Here they come. So this, like, the... The only logic, especially if you both have the same number in the first round, is like, what's the likelihood out of three draws that'll get another number higher than seven? And that would be eight or nine. Right, so two out of ten, but you get to do it three times. I'm trying to remember how that pro that probability works out. Additive probability. Because it's not 60%. Whatever. Your play gets me worked up! I can't remember my... It's less likely? No, it's not. It's more likely. If you get three chances to draw 20%, the total... Like, the likelihood that one of them is 20 is higher... Higher than just 20%. Here. Well, I got fucked, by the way. Thing is, like, at this point, the game might be over. And I don't know that. Depends if you can get duplicate numbers. It does depend that. And I think you can... It won't be 20% as it's not as 1 through 9, not through 0 through 9. That's true. It's 2 out of 9. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you can get the same number twice. If you can't, 
then that changes the probabilities. Um, ah, I win. <laughs> so yeah, I don't lose. You don't lose chips for losing, but I don't know why. I don't know why Team Toe has a has a score at all. Then it doesn't matter. <laughs> Match the target number four hundred fifty six. Here they come. Yeah, if you don't see repeating digits, then that complicates the proposition a little bit. And I think that's that's the that's the only thing that would kind of make sense. Okay, I think I'm, I'm getting a little bit more. I think that's the educational part to see how probable it is for you to have a bigger number in any given slot. And to like, to weigh that valuation against the, the digit you're putting in. All right, I'm coming around to it. I think not having duplicate numbers helps a lot. This Team Toe Cannon, oh yeah, big time. Your play gets me worked up. I don't wait. I didn't pay attention. How many chips do I need? Nice decent digits you got there. I only got thirty. Rats? Now let's play again. Try rats race next. Okay, I will. I want to do one more round though. Highest number. I feel like I'm I'm understanding it a little more now. The highest number. I will place this little guy. What function do these droids serve outside of the game? <laughs> maybe you can change their little faceplate. Your plate. Maybe they're maybe they're just they're actually dance droids. They're just there to like put you in a good mood. And then somebody was like, hey, we could put numbers on these little guys and use them for a weird stupid number game. I think I will place this little guy. Here. What is my purpose? Yeah, you dance. You bring seconds of entertainment to people who don't value you. I think <laughs> Dancing Alexis? God, imagine an Alexa could dance! Oh shit! Yeah, see that's that's kind of interesting. I win. But it was it was purely the first round. Like that's what decided the game. So in retrospect. The fact that you don't reveal your numbers till the end is the only thing that makes makes the game worth playing. The lowest number. Uh, excuse me. But like, if you played by stats, you'd be like, well, no. I don't know. Our stat is lowest number. That's the sound of Alexa crying when you're not, when you don't clap and applaud their dancing. Where should we go? How about? Here's a good question for you. Here. Is is all AI gender neutral by definition? I mean, there are very few ways that number could be lower. Oh, but they found the perfect possible way. Almost perfect. Like, that's kind of the, that's the partial issue, I think, is that in, in any given game, there is a perfect way to play. There's an absolutely ideal outcome. Um, it's not that hard to get. And often it revolves around a 50-50 chance about what you do in a single given turn. And the AI can just choose to win if it wants to. So, I want to at least get 200 credits. Oh shoot, I was supposed to do the race. Okay, here we go. So like if it were a nine, there'd be no reason to not put it in the cage. So there's only one possible number in the next three turns that would make this turn less than 100% optimal. This is such a weird game. Now it's like, okay, where do I put the fucking four? Because the next two draws, I might get something less than four, and that would be probably better to have in the hundreds digit. Now, now I've locked myself into it. If the next turn is not less than four, then I have to put the last turn in the hundred spot. So I'm kind of going on that. Yeah, well, we'll see. I'm getting very upset about this game. 
I'm gonna write to George Lucas. How could you do this? Yeah. Let's see if I get the nine on the last round. It's gambling for kids. It's not, I mean, it, it has the format of a, a gambling game, but you don't actually gamble because you don't wager. Now let's play again. You just win points. That's it. All right. Peace. I mean, that's, that's fun, right? If I were retired, I could spend a day playing that and just shooting the shit with, like, some other old dude. So we sit there with our giant bellies and our, our like, sleeveless wife-beater shirts just sweating and drinking some, like, dark fluid. Who knows what it is? That's just what we do. Trade your chips for freedom? Yeah, I'm trying. All right, rats race. Let's do it. Oh. How are you? I just want you to put on pants. That's the first thing I think of. You gotta choose a bathwalker and click the play button. I love that part. <laughs> Oh, I could- Ooh, I remember these guys! Oh, shit. These look like the sprites from, um... Crap, what was that environment sim game? That really fucking weird one? Gungan Frontier, there we go. Yeah. That- that straight up has to be- Those are the sprites from that game. That's cool. I'm gonna be that- that stupid little thing. Would you like me to show you? Would you like me to show you? <laughs> look at his erotic blue thighs. Oh, I am! I don't want to! Oh! <laughs> His, his silky blue thighs, much like the milk squeezed out of the teats of whatever fucking Last Jedi thing. This is a rat's race, named after yours truly, Rats Tyrell. The object of this game is to reach the center rats square Tyrell. before your opponent does. The first one there wins all the whoopee yuppie, ha ha! I'll play one round by myself to show you how We're it's doing it for the whoopee yuppie, you guys. <laughs> to do is spin an odd number to get your path walker on the game board. Use this button to start the spinner. What is this accent supposed to be? <laughs> the path walker can move either direction on the board. The two choices are counted out and highlighted. Armenian? Yeah. By clicking on it. It is something like that. Automatically moves to it and a game card appears. Oh, here we go. You have to use your brain. We got some math now. This is an addition game card. You have to add the number, see? Okay. Remember to take your time and think. Here's the answer. Could cost you big credits. And speaking of credits, here's the amount you win for answering the math problem correctly. After three chances, I'll give you the answer. But, uh, no, Didn't rats die? Yeah, he was the one that went before he blew up, right? This is clearly just before episode one. I love that sound. Each type of math question has a different Chuba practice pad. Let me show you. If you want more help, press the help button. <laughs> I got it right. When you answer questions correctly, you're awarded a puzzle piece. When you fill in the puzzle, puzzle piece completely, you may enter the center path, leading to the Nabu Globe of Peace. In the real game, you won't get to see my game cards, but you'll know if I get it right by the little lights on the back. Just like you, I only get three chances. Yeah, there's a lot of rules. Let's play Rats Race for real. I want to start game button. Want to find the clip of this of Rats making that fun sound. That was him, I'm pretty sure. I think I think somebody made a YouTube compilation of all the uh all the pod pod race crashes. There it was. Hold on. Yeah, I actually don't think that's him. The guy who makes the little duck sound. Why am I doing this? It's your turn. Press the spinner. I went too far back. Hey, hold on. I oh wait, 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 wait. Was Rats the one who's like whose pod racer never took off? Like he was he was stranded on the starting line? No? What happened to Rats Tyrell? I don't think Rats is that guy. Hold on. I just let me let me let me find that spot again. 
That was Quadranero? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Put your social security up next. You have to pretend to be an influencing marketing manager before I'll send you all of my personal info. The first guy goes wild and blows up in the cave. Yeah, I, I just saw that clip of the guy blowing up in the cave, and then I lost my place, so hold on. It's your turn. Press the spinner oh, this is him. Um... Yeah, are you sure that that's... I don't think that's him. He's got a different... Well, maybe that is him. Yeah, I think that is him. I'm taking it back. All right. So hold on a minute. I can't tab out of this game, but... Oh. It's reversed. Please just play. Thank you. That guy? Yeah, I think that is him. <laughs> Hold on. I know it's my turn! This is important! There's our boy. Yeah, that's him, right? Yeah, he's wearing the goggles. That's totally him. Alright. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. Okay, fine! Jesus fucking Christ, you're gonna die anyway. What does any of this matter? Oh, shit. Oh, he got his revenge, didn't he? Do I have to like move? I have to move my piece, alright. So do I just nice? Bad, not bad. What is this? Oh, is that me wagering more? I wasn't paying attention for that part. Look at the number and move your game piece that many spaces. Compare these two shapes and decide if their areas are equal to each other or if one is greater than or less than the other. Oh, is this just like a worth big credits if you're right? Is this just is this like a hint area to like help you visualize? Oh. Oh, okay. Oops! Why did I... Why did I click on that arrow? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Mushka, thank you for gifting 10 subs. Right as I... Play of... Play of my life. That's... God damn it. What a, that immaculate first turn ruined. It's your lucky day. You're in the race. Ah, oh, chunky chuba cheeks. Chin squares make me nervous. Chumpy chuba cheeks. Compare these two shapes and decide if their areas are equal to each other or if one is greater than. Or less than the other. Greater than. I can do it right this time. Not bad, not bad. This is way more point efficient than uh, Dijoto. <laughs> My ass is gonna clean up here. This one feels more educational. It really does. Yeah. I was kind of seeing the, the nuance of Dijoto by the end of it, though. Did you get it wrong, you idiot? You stupid idiot. Man, no wonder you drove straight into a stalactite. Round and round it goes. Where it stops, only the force knows. Yeah, the force cares about all of this. Can add the numbers up correctly. Oh, the ace. No. I always get, uh... Oh! Wait, is that what... Oh, okay, yeah, this is just a way for you to... It gives you, like, a visualization. That's kind of cool. Oh, good answer. That's pretty smart. Where'd you learn this stuff? Congrats! You got a puzzle piece! That drink looks unpleasantly chunky. There's just some ice floating in some cold brew. I like the look of that number. Used to rock out some kid picks. Bro, I fuck with some kid picks. 
You're gonna get it wrong again, you dumb idiot. Oh. Mm, let me rethink that. Ooh. There's a poodle. It's your turn. <laughs> round and round it goes, where it stops. Oh, Little four stone. Fifty points. Good God. You, got you have any idea how many bones I'd have to roll in Digodo to make fifty points? <laughs> Those numbers look good. Yeah, that's a lot of points. So I got to go to this Jedi Temple once I have my. Uh, my bird filled in? Is that how I win? Whoa, I got a puzzle piece. Nice job. Are we back to playing every Star Wars game ever? No, Pablo. Only playing the games that were based on the prequel films. <laughs> Spin and win, that's my motto. Spin to win, baby. I have standards. Good answer. Hey, what'd you learn this stuff? Congrats! You got a puzzle piece. <laughs> hey, what's up, Iceman? I like it. I good like to see it. you. I'm oh, Neckar. Good to see you too. Have you played Bounty Hunter yet? No, haven't gotten that far. All the good games have not been played. The only, well, I take that back. Jedi Power Battles, Episode 1 Racer, those are both very good games, but, uh, there's, there are still many glories to come. What are you, what are you doing? Most of the good prequel games, uh, have yet to be played. Compare these two shapes and decide if their areas are equal to each other. Look closely at the two shapes. Compare their sizes again. Oh no. Wait. Yeah. So not Oh, I got a Oops. Not bad, not bad. Oh my god. <laughs> humbled by a <laughs> humbled by Star Wars math. I like the look of that number. Which had more games based on it, prequel or original trilogy? I'm going to guess original trilogy since that's been, you know, since the dawn of time and is still happening. I'd stayed awake in school. Or shapes math, I guess kind of geometry. I think what they're what this game is trying to do is to help kids visualize mathematical principles. So equivalents, greater than, less than, thinking about um, math in terms of like physical chunks. I think that helps some kids grasp the concepts a little a little more readily. But my new spaces. Can you not come in here until you have all your pieces? You have to get uh. all your puzzle pieces before you- Puzzle pieces! <laughs> Today's a good day, got a new Gundam Master Grade to assemble, got Lar on the screen. Finished all my homework, so it's nice weather outside. Glad to hear it. It's good to have a little, little tune on your lips when everything in the world is aligning for a little bit. You got the Clone Wars' prequels? Yes. Anything prequel era in the Star Wars universe? Yes. Because there's some stuff that happens between the films. I would also include uh, Lego Star Wars. Which I'm excited to get to Lego Star Wars. It's been so long since I dove into it. I think Lego Batman was the last Lego game I was like, I'm going to 100% this shit. And I did. And it was very gratifying. I have very fond memories of just whiling time away. I really wanted to... Was, Le was Lego Avengers any... Or Lego... Yeah, it was Lego Avengers, right? Is that any good? Look at the number and move your game piece that many spaces. Compare the two numbers. Are they equal to each other? Or is one greater? Nice job! You got good brain. When was the most recent Lego Star Wars to come out? Was it the... I think it was the Mega Star Wars pack with 7, 8, 9 in it too, right? You completed your puzzle. You puzzled it out! Now you can enter the center pack. Naboo peace globe. That's it! It's a peace globe! And now we know the official name of it too. It is the Naboo Peace Globe. <laughs> oh, I love you, Boss Nass! Why is it Boss Nass? Like, he... Wait, I get to go right there? Why am I? F Why do I have wings? What the? What? What is it? Was there like a? Did he draw like a card that makes me go back to my start? 
That's not that's not very peaceful of you rats, Tyrell. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop that. Stop it. Skywalker Saga isn't out yet? Oh, okay. When does that come out? There's a Lego Marvel Super Heroes Lego Avengers movies. I played the Marvel Universe one and it was really solid. Yes, Johnny, that's right. I was I was confused about it for seconds. So I, like, I do did remember there being a more generic Marvel Lego game that wasn't explicitly Avengers. <laughs> when does Skywalker Saga come out? I got a puzzle piece! <laughs> Toe touches. He's pretty spry. Be warned for complete saga though, vehicle levels have definitely not aged very well. I yeah. Like it was Lego Star Wars is where it all started. I remember playing that game back on PS2 and being like, this is really cool. Like it's you know, it's simple. Uh but it's for kids and I enjoyed it. And I do remember oh so I guess going get to pink sends them back to spawn. Spawn. Whatever. Um Sometime this year? Okay, for Skywalker. Yeah, I remember the vehicle sections not being the best. Um. What? Six means you can't go? That's... I don't understand. I don't understand what they're going for here. Maybe it's like two and then three and it shows the threes like stacking up like that. I gotta admit, I, I am a little... Why can't... Is there like some kind of trapped in Monopoly jail rule here? Where you can't move? I didn't pay attention to the... the I didn't pay attention at all. <laughs> I gotta admit. Nice job! You got good brain! Uh, big brain activate. I guess while you're on the path, they have to roll a specific number. Yes! Watch out, galaxy! Rats has arrived! Okay, so rats got to... Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm nostalgic for when Lego Lego people didn't talk. I really liked the grunts and expressions and stuff, and I thought it matched Star Wars really well. It was like, it was cute on its own, but also fun to see people try and pantomime the the dialogue and, and motions of a Star Wars film. Oh, come on. I mean, it's even bigger down here. You're just making... I got good brains. <laughs> Those numbers look good. I can't remember when they started talking. And it was weird, too, because in whatever game, they just pulled lines from the movies. That's why I didn't really want to play Largo Lego Avengers. I didn't want to hear movie lines in a Lego game. It didn't make sense to me. The latest trailer for Skywalker Saga actually made me laugh out loud with how Palpatine throws lightsaber pieces. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, like zoomed out shots of somebody throwing something and it's just going eh, like it just falls right in front of them i love that that stuff will always work on me so that 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 was good like i can't i can't complain oh wait because i i giggled at that too <laughs> oh no i got trouble that's <laughs> a fireball. Rats! <laughs> Your pathwalker is safe from me! I cannot... <laughs> I know what the, what's going to happen to you! I know what's going to happen to you, rats. <laughs> You're bad at math and... Ooh, he's popping a deep squat, though. Compare the two numbers. Are they equal to each other? Or is one greater than? Or less than? Not bad, not bad! Wait, why is Rats on Naboo? He's here for the pod race? <laughs> this number looks like a winner of a spinner. <laughs> oh, thank you, Microwave. I'm wearing a onesie. I'm wearing a Funhouse onesie today. Which, yeah, can can turn into a bit of a V if it's not, if it's not zippered up all the way. Don't want to... Not, don't want to violate no Twitch TOS out here. 
audience is horny enough. Wait, I can't. What is this? Oh, I can put it on hard? Can I... Oh. I guess you can only do the options once you, uh... Once you play a game. Oh, okay, it's a different puzzle now. But everything else about the board is identical. I don't see any of the, like, hot pink spaces. Oh, I guess there's one. Tell him not to go to the pod races tomorrow. He wouldn't listen to me even if I told him. I've seen I've seen a man who needs to race. To my and that man needs to race. Sweet, huh? <laughs> From the looks of it, you still need the summer parts before your ship can be assembled. Here's a checklist showing you which ship parts you have and which ones you still need to buy. A version of each part in the red box is needed to build a basic ship and see it in the hangar. This is Two hours of bio before the weekend. All right, Hatter. I'll be here when you're done. Learning, filling your brain with important biological knowledge. Ship ...and launching it into space. When the time comes, we'll talk more about the... Let's see you ran 52 miles this week. That's a lot of running. So get to going. Is it on a treadmill or? Either way, man. For you. That's incredible. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. You can eat a slice or two of pizza. So you can pay them to me when you buy your ship. It's like two marathons. Yeah, it is. Whew. Oh, you work all this weekend, Doctor Sinwar. Oh, you've been you've been crunching like crazy lately. Hmm. I hope you have, I hope you have a break, a long break coming. Sounds like you need you need a couple days or you can just sort of click off. Jeez. Real human being. Thank you for the prime. Oh hey T Knight. You got a you got a shift coming up. Keeps me sane, I run on my lunch breaks and in between training. <laughs> you run in between training. Good lord, wow. Well your heart could crush a coal into diamond. <laughs> um I used to run like three miles a night. To try and try and keep myself in shape. Now I just eat less trash and lift weights. Now I'm all about getting big. It's more fun than running for me anyway. Um, I gotta I gotta take a break. Break. Bathroom break. Be right back. See you in a second. I'm not kidding. Okay, I didn't wanna <laughs> I didn't wanna interrupt Vanilla Eyes. You gotta learn. You gotta learn what the people come for. You know, when people come for that sweet sweet Vanilla Eyes. I haven't been DMCA popped yet. I swear to God, it's only like, it's only new music, I think, that really gets policed. Um, now that stuff gets gets hit on YouTube for sure, yeah. Uh, if I upload VODs with all the breaks in, a lot of that stuff will get claimed, um, which is fine. Um, but, luckily, since OBS can pause recordings, it's really easy to, to keep that stuff out. I need a hyperdrive. A T14 hyperdrive. Where the, what are you telling me to do here? Do I buy this here? Maybe not. I guess I gotta buy it from a shop. Yeah. Greetings! My name is Watto, and I'm the owner of this here junk shop. He's gonna break my balls. Watto's here to break my balls. You're crushing my balls, Watto. Wanted me to show you how things work around here. Smashing my nuts, Watto. Smashing them open. Right here, we got the holographic projection of all of the sheep parts. This sounds like a Pixar soundtrack. Because I guess, say it sounds like bouncy Andy Newman music. Oh, Vicarious Visions got bl merged into Activliz, so it's just dissolved now? That's weird. Activision usually lets their developmental units keep a name. But I guess Vicarious Visions was kind of just leaned on as a like a porthouse lately. That's a shame. Vicarious Visions, I thought, had some good games lately. They had a couple of like like damn Vicarious. Right? Click the buy button to purchase the part. Remember, I only like to be paid with exact credits. You pay me too much, 
I give back all your credits, and you get another chance to pay me the exact amount. If you pay me too little, trust me, I'll make a show. Uh, that's right, they did. Tony Hawk 1 and 2. If you need me to repeat this a little demo, all of Skylanders. Again, roll over the data pad and then click on the picture of me. If so, wait, they're. More specific help. My droid Zeppo is always available with just a click of your mouse button. Where is this? Where is this coming from? It, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, there it is. Now, 14 minutes ago, Gamatsu. What yeah. can I get for Fierce you? Visions merged into Blizzard, fully dedicated to existing Blizzard games going forward. Oh, that's not getting merged into Activision. That's getting merged into Blizzard. Wow. To me. Ooh, that to me that says we have to figure out how to fix Blizzard, and maybe if we just cram a good development house in there, like and merge their their management structures, then not only do we get to like count all of Vicarious's projects under Blizzard's like revenue now, um, to make Blizzard look better, but also it just it to me it reads as like we're just trying to infuse functioning talent into that company, um, because Vicarious. They fucking turn around software. They ship shit like crazy. Like, look at. I've been I've been waiting for this for a while, actually. Like, Blizzard has just doesn't ship anything. They just stopped fucking making games, and I, they like they made Overwatch, and that's it. Like, they they announced Diablo 4. They announced Overwatch 2, and I think to some degree they were announcing them way too early because they had to get people excited about a new project. But like Immortal, there is no reason. No reason. Sorry, I'm getting a little amped about this, but like. It's weird to me when, like, there's a narrative that people miss, and it's really obvious, and, like, to me, the narrative is that Blizzard got really soft on, on World of Warcraft money, and they forgot how to ship product. Um, I feel like that's why Morheim left and is, like, making a new dev studio, um, because he likes making games, and I think the, uh, I think it's just bureaucracy. So, I feel like Blizzard got, got fat from World of Warcraft, they got fat from, like, the surge of Overwatch, which was pretty good. But I think they overinvested into esports, so that was a revenue hit for them, um, and continues to be. You can see they're like they're trying to trim cost year over year, every year, every year they're paying less and less into that system because they can't. Um, so they like they bit off too much um, and wanted it to be their cash cow for a long time, and like they just they just forgot how to ship pro properties. And like, what is Activision Blizzard supposed to do? There's still good good developers there. Um, so, I, they hired, like, Rod, was it, Rod Ferguson? Um, that was the, to me, when they start hiring, like, outside producers to come in and start, like, getting people into shape, that was one of them. Um, that was a while ago. Yeah, 2020, actually, okay. So, I think... I was curious what ch what change would would happen with um, Rod at Blizzard. Yeah, Immortals is still in alpha. Like what? Three years after they announced it, and it had a playable demo at that BlizzCon, and it's a mobile game. It's just it baffles explanation. Even they're like Blizzard's Chinese. Partner, their business partner said out loud more than once we don't understand why this game hasn't shipped they like we don't know what blizzard's up to they actually said it out loud like that's so weird uh there's no reason to like if if that relationship were harmonious there's no way anyone anyone would say anything like that but that's like it's a narrative that didn't really get picked up on i think it was netties was like yeah we are immortals ready to go we don't I think at some point it started making making Netties look bad. Uh, so, yeah, to me that's more like Activision at an executive layer probably sees a lot of good production talent and managerial skill and organization of labor in Vicarious Visions. And that's the exact thing that it looks like Blizzard has lost or doesn't have or refuses to, to grow. Um, the ability to like stick to a product schedule, ship things, um, develop new products, all that stuff. So I think that's it. I think they're just like going to dice up Vicarious Visions project leads and stuff and put them over developmental units at Blizzard and hopefully that like, you know, it's like you swap out the spine. Uh, I don't, th that's my, that's my uh, know nothing theory. That's how it feels though. It feels like Activision's trying to 
a fine choice. I'm trying to, uh... You owe me credits equal to the price you Restore Blizzard to, like, functioning back. status. Thank you. But it's yours. You need to Maybe they've gone full 3D realms and are just playing EVE Online? On Maybe, ship. I don't know. Would you like to buy another ship, Pop? I don't want to ever, like... It's so fun. Like, it's obvious to jump to things like laziness. And I'm not saying you were saying this. This is often what's said. Oh, they got lazy. And to some degree, I implied that too. I don't think that's the case. I think people just get... They get used to having a humane job. And I think when... Team sizes get big enough, then... It's possible for some people to find ways to dodge any accountability. So you... Once a... If, like... If the atmosphere to company gets civilized enough, and there are enough people working there, it's very possible for people to kind of work themselves into the cracks, you know? Just kind of, like, squeeze in here and be like, okay, my job now is to respond to emails. And then I tell other people to email people, and that's my job. I insert myself into email chains, and then I email. Um, so that I seem like I'm involved, but I'm not actually producing anything. There's, there's a fair amount of people like that that infiltrate, or make it their jobs to to add paperwork, so... I've had managers like that. It's a real thing. <sighs> and, uh... Then you're in a weird position, because if you come in and you, like, you have a bloodletting, and that's layoffs, you look bad in the outside, it lowers morale inside. It gets really tough to turn that stuff around. I'm that manager? Hell yeah. Hey, man, get the check. I don't care. Uh, it's just, on a high level, it's interesting to watch certain dynamics. Uh, I remember... I remember really thinking about this, like, nice in the two or three Machinima now, reboots with different executive layers. Part. People would come in, the and they were inheriting such an unfixable problem. I would think about that, like, what do you even do when you're, nice when you're getting, you're inheriting a staff that has been you trained to not work? You, into the ship you just lay off half the people? Because there's a cost to that, it looks bad on you, like, it's just, whew. Rehabilitating a workforce. I don't. I can't even imagine what that's like. That's a fine ship, but a total restructure. Mm -hmm. And then, like, just by virtue of the restructure, you're you're um, adding a lot of like time lag to the process because it's gonna take teams time to get to know each other and find a new communication flow and a new production flow so there's a there's a cost to that too and it's very very difficult to make that call so like getting the hyperdrive is how I get out of here not bad not bad you've bought all of the ship parts you need to build your ship really good design too my manager at Papa John's is so terrible all he cares about is fudging his hours so his wife gets extra hours even though she never works damn that sucks he's just straight up grifting oh uh, that sucks Ugh. as someone who has been a part of hemorrhaging worth ethic workforce you work up slowly I'd say you work up slowly hmm what do you mean like, try to convince people to do more and more work, just teensy bits at a time. Make subtle changes, tweaks here and there to the, the work culture. This lever is used for testing your ship's engines. Click on it with your mouse and pull down. Use these buttons to rotate your ship left or right. Use this button to test your ship's blasters. Blasters are used to destroy asteroids that may damage your ship while collecting space junk. This gauge can collect space junk? Fuel is in your what does it have to do with math? You can buy more fuel cells from me. I was promised more math. Fuel oh, you burned a pancake. Don't worry. Fuel is that sucks. Cheap, but you and then you have the devil's choice. Do you eat it anyway? Because you really like pancakes? To see the blueprint screen, click here. <laughs> Use the this button to restructure your workforce and improve morale. Match parts to create a new Slapping it as a <laughs> click on the God, if you had a if you had a fixed workforce button. Your ship. If you can't see it, then it's like your Twilight ship Zone episode. is missing a necessary piece. When you return from space, 
I'll pay you for each piece of okay. junk you collect. But it has to be good stuff. Mm. This My old manager at Staples would come in for a few hours, fuck his wife in the break room, fill his car with merchandise, and leave. Good times. God. Ugh. Do you think he thought he was like a Scarface, just like total gangster? And bank chicks and steel, steel printers? Whatever that is. If you need to hear the control panel explained again, roll over the data pad and click on my picture. The work, fixed workforce button is just copious amounts of alcohol. To a yeah, just flood the workplace with booze. There will now be free whiskey in every corporate fridge. Let's give those, let's give those engines a little, oh. Cool. Are you only, you can only shoot out? Hello Lame. there, what are you here? <laughs> Thought you might like some help with this here blueprint screen. I wasn't listening last time, but I recruit spe my specific one. We're stationed somewhere where there was no work for us. Being telescope operators, our job kind of relies on operating the telescope. Well, our telescope isn't done. A couple years ago, it was even less done. Hmm. Oh, Rabajan, thanks for the prime. Whatever, I'm hitting. <laughs> this uh, is a blueprint where you design the look of your ship. Intoxicated Puma, thanks your for the prime. Is made of How far into the Star Wars games list is this one? This is six or seven in. We're almost out of like educational software. <laughs> After this, it, it may be games that are more like child oriented, but not like outright educational software. Um, check my list here. Wings, engine, and a ship hull can be found on this side of the blueprint screen. Right. This window shows the engine part. To see uh, let's see here. After this is Jar Jar's Journey. I don't know what that is. I think it's another kid's title. But then Demolition, Episode 1 Obi-Wan's Adventures, Episode 1 Battle for Naboo, Starfighter, uh, Super Bombad Racing, Galactic Battlegrounds, Obi-Wan, Bounty Hunter. Like Then you start to get into that era. The Episode 2 games. PS2 era. I'm excited to move into that. Because you have not purchased them yet. Yep, yep, yep. I don't give nothing free. I wish Star Wars Obi Wan was on PC. I think it's backwards compatibility on Series X. I think. I'll f I'll find a way to play it one way or the other. Oh, Sinwar continues. We got stuck doing tiny tidbits of paperwork, writing up one email every couple weeks. That was our job. Waiting for others to teach us about this not done telescope while they tried to get it done. So, of course, no one did that. And we did nothing. So when my boss and our Maui got our group, some of us were worker bees, eager to do something, and worked too fast, and others were not used to working at all. Or used to not working at all. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah, that kind of violates team unity, where everybody thought, I thought we were on the same page. It was sick to get paid to do nothing. Wait until you've bought the basic parts first. That way, you can fly into space right away. And besides... I could really use the help collecting space junk. You understand me? When you're ready to build your Had a very technical job where they, for some reason, only outsourced new managers, so they came in and had no idea what their employees worked with. And never bothered learning because they knew nothing about the topic. Didn't talk to a, sing a manager a single time in two years. Well, that sounds like they just... The company just assumed that management wasn't important. They wanted to pay less for it. Interesting buttons, huh? That's that's very just numbers. Man, outsourcing a manager. How how absurd. You see your ship in wireframe. This one shows your ship in schematic form with side and the top views. This button shows your ship in full color. I don't do well not having enough to do. If I have too much work, I take it as a challenge and handle it. If I have too little work, I get easily distracted and have trouble doing any of it. And so I give you the chance to It's a uh, Finding everyone's work tolerance is a is a weird process. I think it is Some people are just fucking lazy. But I would say a fair amount of people uh just need to like go wild 
need to be put in the right circumstance. Need to find the right environment that creates productivity. It's I've seen it happen. It's pretty wild. Somebody you would swear up and down is just a just a lazy asshole because like in a position of privilege, know they're protected, don't have to do anything. But yeah, if you can just find a different mindset, a different workflow, different set of tasks. But you seem smart for an awful I would I would never have thought it was a thing if you that people can just click, uh, click on before I've, I saw it happen like more than once to ask for help. Otherwise, it's a pretty harmonious thing and, and to some degree it's like that's as far as I can tell the the primary goal of any manager should be to like find the environment where people are like sustainably productive and happy. Um, but that is that is very rarely, <laughs> very rarely the goal for most managers. Uh, X Den, thank you for the prime. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Those of us, those of us with work ethic were compromised. I'll see here. With those of us whose work ethic was compromised, our boss worked up slowly with things that inter interested us more. Asked what supplemental learning we might like, might help us in the future, might help the project. And with the overworkers, the guy toned their schedule such that they'd keep pace. That's that's great. That sounds like somebody who can finally like, or is like twiddling the knobs to make everything, try to make everything better. Oh shoot. Interesting. Oh, oops. All right. What? Oh, I guess that <laughs> that's default. View. Yeah, no, that's a spaceship. Ugh. Oh, those sounds. Ooh. Ugh. My boss used to be a foreman at a Chilean copper mine. I think he looked pretty well how to work with people in weird circumstances. Huh. That's pretty cool. Also, awesome that that would be transferable like that. Hey! Did it not? Uh, okay. I was worried that there was going to be a button I had to hit to commit. Or maybe that's not what this is about. Maybe I'm not allowed to do that. Maybe if I had listened to Watto. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's a good ship right there. What are you doing? I'm painting my ship. I have a ship now. I want enough Digoto that I could afford a ship. Oh, get out of here. Get out. Easy, medium, hard. Get out. Want me to show you how to fly yes. Watto. Oh, Watto, continue talking and never stop talking. Please just fill my word. Fill my ears with your beautiful Watto words. Your wonderful Watto sounds. I would love for Watto to talk to me more. Are you smarter now? Yeah, can't you tell? Brains exploding. Popping out of my ears. They can turn you into junkie. Use your mouse to steer your ship. Move it to the left, and your ship turns left. Move oh wow! Right, and your ship turns right. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> if you wanna make your ship faster or slower, press the up or down. We're doing the arrow keys, all right? And below the picture of your ship, that's the acceleration display. It goes up as your ship speed goes up. Of course, it goes down as the speed of your ship goes down. Pay attention to this. It's the rule that tells you what the kind of junk to collect. Position your ship. Oh no. Of the junk, and it gets nice so big. Into the cargo bay. Oh, that's scary. In the top left corner of your screen is the space junk counter. This keeps track of the space junk you collect for each mission. If you collect junk outside the room, well, I'm not paying for that, let me tell you. The gauge right below your ship shows 
shows you how much fuel you have left. When you run out, your ship automatically returns to the hangar. Watch out for more fuel floating in space. Fly towards it, and you'll get more fuel without having to return to the hangar. This gauge shows your blaster power. When it's green, you're ready to fire. Use it too often, and it turns red. Then your blaster has to cool down before you zap anything else, huh? <laughs> that green glow, that's your shields. They protect the ship when you hit asteroids or not want the space jump. Ouch! What, are you crazy? As you can see, the pretty green glow around your ship has now turned red. Meaning your shields are in pretty bad shape. Too high white guy says, Hi Lawrence, I'm very high here. I want to say I loved watching you since Machinima. Keep up the awesomeness that is you. I will. As long as you continue being both high and white. I promise I will continue playing this Star Wars video game. It shows where you we gotta we gotta rely on each other <laughs> in these trying times. You're the bright glowing spot in the middle of the circle. Space junk and other helpful things such as extra fuel show up as bright red dots. All High and white might be our big, biggest demographic, yeah. There's 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 definitely a chill high white dude vibe. I don't know why. Who knows where that's coming from? Yeah, he's still talking. He's got a lot to say. What is a chatty guy? Thoughts on the new Xbox Live Gold price? What's like uh, one more dollar a month? Is it? I don't know. I think I misinterpreted or something. Uh, Matt Johnson 3D. Thank you for the sub. I remember this game around the same time as that weird sim lifestyle in the boot game. Yeah. Uh, holy crap. Uh, you're, you mean the Gungan Frontier. This is weird. This is really weird. Oops. You blasted into space dots. I'm really glad this robot's here to talk to me. I'm gonna run out of fuel. It sounds like Teddy. Good days and very bad. Be sure to collect the space junk that fits the rule. Twenty-one credits. Okay. I mean, a simple math problem. Watto's races earns me a little more than that, but. I don't get the thrill of flying around in space in my very own spaceship. Looks like you're out of fuel. Hit the refuel button and I'll fill it up so you can get back on out of there and collect some junk. Well, what's the refuel button? Um, it's not this. Is it this? No. That just tries out the engine's refuel button. Is it this? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's gonna cost you credit. What the fuck, Watto? You're gonna drop a check on me? Like that? Okay. That's pretty cool. Flying around in space is delightful, intense. Makes me feel like I'm in the Star Wars universe. So I'm going to be doing that again <laughs> in a minute, but let's check out Hollow Checks. Play Jabba the Hutt in a game of Hollow Checks. We'll see how good you are at games that make you think. <laughs> you look as green as a monkey lizard. Would you like me to show you how to play Holo 
project. Oh, he's gonna talk so much. Yeah, not speaking Huttese. Jabba, turns out Jabba's an amazingly uh, polite uh, sportsman. Uh, gangster in the sheets, hollow checks a gentleman in the streets. Yeah, he's a sportsman above all. Uh, he he might like double double cross people and shoot them and throw them into a pit and watch them get eaten. He may do all those things, but when he sits down for a nice game of hollow checks, he becomes just the most urbane gentleman you've ever met. First, use the arrows to see the different monsters. Click on Not the a lot of people know that about Jabba. I guess I just I'm a bigger Star Wars fan the than most people. To view the different game boards. Click on the one you like. In Horror Checks, the goal is to keep your monsters on the game board and capture all those that belong to your opponent. When it's your turn to move, your side of the board lights up. I will teach you how to play, so I will play both sides this time. Click on a monster and then click on the open space nearby. Monsters move only in straight or diagonal lines. Oh, my monster is in deep Bantha Pudu. Your monster can capture it by jumping through the open space on the other side. See? Your monster captured my monster. Good thing it was only a single jump. Double and triple jumps give me indigestion. That is how the game is played. If you need more help with Hola Checks or want me to repeat what I just said, roll over the data pad. Enough instructions. Now we play. When you're ready to play, click the start button. It's the PvP version of that game at every Cracker Barrel? Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, like, this is a weird game. So I guess the... Really, the only goal is to, like, prevent any double or triple jumps. Because otherwise you're just going to trade pieces pretty, pretty rigidly for a while. I guess you have to move every turn, you can't not move. Which means, yeah, they get a... they get a piece. <laughs> like, I don't think there's any move I can make that doesn't sacrifice a piece this turn. Or next turn. God damn it. Okay, I admit it, that was a bad move. But like, why can't you, why wouldn't you be able to stalemate and just burn turns like this? Back to the. Okay. Oh no, I'm getting wrecked. Oh shit, job no! All right, I opened myself up for that one. <laughs> you fool! Yeah, I'm. I'm really bad at this. It turns out. Getting humbled by Jabba. Oh shit, I just opened it up. Oh, I did it! I did it! No! 
God. Just like, geez, just make it, make it, make it end. I don't know about this. This is what we in the business call discrete math. Oh, because it's because it looks like it's on a on a grid. It looks like it's on a matrix. I don't know. This is it's just like a more complicated version of tic tac toe. We just have to rely on the, the player getting baited into shit. Which, to be fair, I am clearly very, uh, very good at getting baited into shit. Alright, let's try it again. I always win. <sighs> yes, you do, Jabba. The punishment to losing to Jabba is playing more... Jabba. That's what checkers is? That's a good point. I never really claim to be good at checkers. Don't have the brain for it. Too smart for me. What a stupid sound. Alright, I keep not seeing that. I'm gonna keep forgetting that they can do diagonals. God damn it. Same moves from last game? You're right, it is the exact same shit. It's getting annoying. I just, there's like, there's no, there's no good move to make. <laughs> Alright. Same fucking open. There's like three moves and all of them result in me losing a piece and being in a worse position. So it's like... I don't know. Clean job of play? Yeah. Go up, sacrifice. All right. So, alright, if I jump here, I still can't get jumped. I think. <laughs> no, it's impossible. Right. Oh, I accidentally double jumped. I wasn't even, like, I'm not even thinking on that way of playing. But smart moves. Good shit. Although this this like steel drum is pretty good. Okay, so it's like, yeah, there's only certain diagonals you can... That's weird. Not every piece can diagonal to every other piece. Bottom right to the left. You mean this one? You can't, like, if you just stalemate moves, they'll do the same thing. Burning turns doesn't work. Uh, because they just, like, they'll do this shit forever. So it forces you to make a suboptimal move, which is annoying. You don't have the, like, flexibility of, of chess to do it. So, let's see here. And, like, the pieces you can, like, the, all the pieces I can bait them to move on to, I can't diagonal through, really. Let's see, if I move him here and then, he, then I can jump here, but that's it. I don't get another jump. Move mid one back. I mean this guy. Yeah, that might that might invite forward movement, but yeah, the AI can just do that shit. Yep. This is why this is not a competitive game. That's because uh, very easy to stalemate. 
and like force one like no player is gonna want to make the, the the move that loses them a piece boy so let me think if I move you there you jump here I can jump you here then I don't get another jump and then we've both lost one piece and that's it top right to the left this guy I move him there yeah, I guess there's no diagonal move to that that place, and then yeah, they would have to move back. This is one of those you don't have diagonal jumps to for some reason. Or that. God. The middle left the middle left one to the center of the board. If he takes you can take three. Middle left one to the center. He takes, and I take that. And then I don't have another jump, so I don't know what you're... Too late? No. Yeah, what a play. Well, that's what I mean! Like, any move puts you in a worse spot. And the, a like, the AI is totally willing to just to just stalemate forever. So you you have to continue, like, putting yourself at a disadvantage and then, and then setting up an outplay. Like, you have to... You can only react. Uh, with the way this game is set up. So if I move you there, then you can jump there. And then, like, then I can jump back, and I guess I'm not in danger there. At least this way I can block that one and I can't get jumped this way. Fuck! Come down, little. Take this one, he takes that one, I take this one. It's just like it's a trade every time. Oh wait, he's gonna double. Fuck. Yeah. Also, like, you're allowed to go backwards? At least you can't do that in checkers. That's what... Like, there's some rules that make this game type not broken. <laughs> that are not... not not present here. Fucking god! Yeah, you get to jump either way now. I c there's nothing I can do to stop that. Cool. Oh wait, maybe there is. Shit. Fuck, man, what am I gonna do? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and they're like burning turns. Fuck you. They're just not gonna make it a less than efficient. They're just not gonna make a less than efficient turn. So the game will not progress unless I volunteer pieces to get jumped. Shit. Uh, move pieces in the bottom row to stall. Stalling doesn't work. The AI is better at stalling than I am. Uh, and like the the selective nature of the diagonal movements means that I can never move these pieces ever. If I move it there, I get jumped. If I move this anywhere, this gets jumped. Middle up one? I mean... Yeah, that'll get me in a position where I can jump, so they'll have to move back. But then they move back. This one's gonna move back there. Or back there. Or forward, yeah. I keep forgetting. That's always way better. And since there's no diagonal here, I can't do shit! <laughs> Damn it! Um... Now if I move this up, I get jumped. And then I can jump back, and we've traded pieces. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta think about doubles. Yeah, if I move this... Wait, hold on a second. I move this up. Oh, there's no diagonal there. <sighs> this feels disastrous in some way, but I'm not sure what. But I'm gonna do it. Okay, I've successfully advanced. I can move you here now. No, no, you cannot make that move. I'm sorry. Sir, at your monsters. Oh, 
Sorry, what, bro? Oh, no, no. You cannot make that move. Look closer at your monsters. I can jump him. Yeah. Oh, pfft. My monster. You have to jump when you can. If your monster can capture the opponent's monster, it must do so. Okay. Well, that makes a little more sense then. Then you, you then you have then the game is about baiting out jumps. It has to be. Oh, fuck you, dude. That was a pretty good move, actually. So if I move you over here, you can move up. I can move. I can move up, but then I get jumped. Or wait, no, they can't move up because if they do, then I'll jump. Yeah. Yeah, we're back here. <sighs> There's... <laughs> I guess I can retreat with this piece. Move him right, then one above. Wait. Let's see your finger. And then there's a jump. Then I can jump, jump. And then I lose that piece. So it's two for two. Problem is, if I move a mirror, move up. Wherever I move this piece, I lose this piece now. And probably get double jumped. Move it right. So now, no, no matter what I do, or I guess I can move this guy over here. Because, yeah, there's no diagonal there. But then, let's see if that moves there. Then, then I'm trapped. So if I move over here, this one moves here. I can't do shit. Um. So then he jumps, and it'll be very difficult to make it so he doesn't get this piece too. Center left back one. Well, I mean, sure, but then I'm just giving up, giving up space, which I guess I can do. Center left back one. I am. That's, that's not doing anything, but sure. I don't think they'll chase. Move bottom right to the left. This one? Then I get double jumped and those pieces are gone. I don't quite understand the value in that. Fucking, I'll play it out. I think that's gonna move there. Yeah. Now there's two jumps, and I can't. I can't protect from both of them. And if I move this piece like here, then they get a piece for free. Um. If I move this piece here, there's a jump there. There's no way to set up a double either. God damn, because if it jumps over here. Let's see. Fuck. So if I move him, if I move there, there's a jump there. I can jump to here, and there I'll be. S nope, because that one will jump. Great. Sacrifice? There's no valuable sacrifice here. Move the bottom one down, then you have a jump. This one down? Don't understand what you're going for there. Oh, 
<laughs> Sound effect. <laughs> you could have traded two. I know. You could do two for two. I don't really see a path to get anything better than that. The top right one, back to the left. You can retake. This one, so I get jumped. And then that's it, I lose a piece. Move the lower one to the middle, protect both. Lower one to the middle, protect both. And this one to here? I won't, there's not a jump right away. Oh wait, oh, not yet. There we go. Review here. I don't know why I didn't see that. There's like... You could get double jumped. Sure did. There's like... The, if the if the AI refuses to make a suboptimal move, this, this game will be impossible to win. Well, maybe not impossible. There has to be like... It's, it's the baiting the AI into a jump that you have to do. Good God. I'm like, they don't chase. So, you have to present them with a jump that sets up a double for yourself. And you have to do that multiple, multiple times. Great. Just getting fucking chased into the corner and then they'll just back up. Or do that, that's interesting. So if I give them this, then I can get a double, but I'll lose that piece too. So it's two for two again. Oh no, that's a that's three. Okay. Yeah. That's the only thing that makes it valuable. For all that, and it is tied. There's like... But, like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to box in the AI with two pieces. Because if if it's my turn, I have to move into a jump situation, which means it has to be a double. Uh, wait, what? That's weird. Why would the AI ever do that move? Christ. Uh I know that the weird the weird fucking grid here is going to fuck me. There's gonna be some diagonal line I just won't see. Ah, uh, okay, so really it's just like there's four spaces on the board that are outrageously powerful. Can you not attack on diagonal diagonals? You can on some of them. Christ! God, this AI is annoying as shit. Fuck. Uh, okay, I gotta figure out a sacrifice play here. Okay, alright. If you jump, you'll be in the corner. I can't get you there. Oh, Christ. 
Dado. Dum Dado. It feels like we're going in Banthus. No, fuck you. Uh uh. Maybe it's time to start a new game. No! Fuck you! Um, shit. Let me think about this. So I basically need... How can you do a jump setup without putting yourself in, like, jump danger? Okay, here we go. So now you have to take my piece and then I get to... No, it's a double! Never mind. I fucked it. Like, how do you- wait, how do you do that without it being a double? They'd have to be on the corner. They'd have to be on the edge. So I'd, I'd need a piece here, but like, you can't position both pieces. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty big throw. You had it? I don't think I did. I don't think. Um, I don't think it's possible. You need to box them in. I don't think it's possible! <laughs> With the way the stupid fucking board is laid out, I don't think you can. And the way that the AI moves? God. He offered a draw. He's an asshole. I play like a smug. You need to control the edges? That, well, that's the problem. If you spread your pieces out to the edges, that's like, that's a lot of turns. And then he can just kind of weasel through because of how stupid some of these, uh, some of these pieces are laid out. All right. Let me see here. What's the what's a not shitty way to start this fucking thing? I don't think there is a not shitty way. It's just all shitty. Think. What sets up a double? Does anything set up a double? Yes. If I move you up, jump, then I can bang bang. Yeah, let's do that. Unless you jump back like that, and you probably will. Okay. God, that fucking sound is so stupid. Interesting. Interesting. Let me think about this. I feel like there's not really a double set up here. I jump there, then there. No. I want you to turn on the Jedi today just to get some form of revenge. Yeah. Remember that time you were a real asshole on the checkerboard? Back. I survived. I really don't want them to get a corner. Okay, so now if I move up, if they jump this back, then I get a double. If they jump this here, I still get a double. Yeah. Let me make sure that I'm thinking about this right. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I got your number, dumbass Jabba. I gotta jump right here, too. It's not a double, it'll be a trade. Do you just go live? Me? I've been... I've been live for a while. 
Curious. Meow. Meow. Curious. 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 Indeed, Jabba. Indeed. Indeed. Do you need to tech tonight? Yes. Yes, I am. Moving forward? Yeah, good. So... Dang. Kind of want to leave it. It would set up a good jump. Well, maybe I can do... Well, wait. Shoot. If I do that, then I can't jump my own piece. Well, I could. I could. Hmm. If I move you here... But at least it sets up another jump. I get to choose which one I want to... Jumping into the corner would be nice. <sighs> Why do you use Barney lines as your cheer alerts? Because Barney's cool. That's a double jump for him. If I move here. Oh, you're right. Ding, ding. Yep, yep, yep. Good point. Don't want to. I don't want to let him take a corner. Now he'll just back up. I think. Yeah. If I move this here, oh wait, he'll have a jump. Blah. So let me move you here first. Oh wait, yeah, he'll just move up there. Lame. Never mind. Oh wait, I can't diagonal there. You ales. Fuck. Interesting. This is a yeah, this is a double either way. Oh shit, he gets one two now. Oh well. I get to get this piece at the end, so I still come out one piece ahead. Forced to double jump? Um, that's a good question. I'm gonna guess yes. You can take a piece if you want to. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to think more about what that what that looks like down the line. Ah, it's gonna start this shit. Comes here. Hmm. Oh shit! Did I open myself up to? Oh, thank God I didn't. Okay. Um. There's got to be a setup here. game, right? Got a real barn burner. I mean, I have another piece back here that I don't need to, to keep pocketed anymore, so I'll, 
I'll start moving up with another piece and see if I can cut off more more movement. There we go. Yeah, I guess once you force the the AI to have no optimal moves, then they have they will start making unoptimal moves. That was weird. The AI usually refuses to make moves like that. Just doesn't do it. This game have a goal of some sort. Take all their pieces, humiliate them. Tell them that they're bad in bed. Careful now. Yeah, set up like a octuple jump. You fool. You idiot. You absolute moron. What an embarrassing buffoon you are. I demand you play again. Yeah, get fucked, Jabba. Alright. What's this? Okay, cool button. That's the fixed workforce button right there. Yeah, stupid slug ass, dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> uh I'm a little I gotta admit I'm a little embarrassed. That I got, I got, uh, I got shit rocked so hard the first time around. But I've reclaimed my valor, and I'm gonna go pee to celebrate. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Thank you for the ninja command, Deonyx. <laughs> You've won the battle. The nightmare the continues. Uh, nah, I've, I've humbled. <laughs> I think, I think I've humbled Jabba enough for one day. I don't want to hit that boy any harder. He's gonna start crying. This is the game of wow. dueling dice. Did they get Sebulba? Sebulba? It sounded like full-on Watto. This sounds like full-on Sebulba. Player of all time. Or do you want me to show you how to play the game first? Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, why are you so small? I was like, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. I'm smaller than this. I'm bigger again. <laughs> yes, Sebulba. Whisper into my ear as you choke me out with your feet. Tell me the rules of dueling dice. First, I click the dice to stop them. The number of dots on the dice shows me how many pit droids I should add to my platforms. We both use the plus or minus buttons to add the proper number of pit droids to our platforms. Notice the number increases as I add pit droids. That's what numbers do. The number do. of pit droids on the platforms help me to solve the problem. When I have the right answer, I hit the enter button again, and that becomes my new total score. The target number above my head is the total number of droids your platforms can hold. If you fill them too full, you lose the game. When you think you're ready to freeze your score, press the stop button. It is okay to stop before the target number, okay. but if you go over it, you lose the game. Once you've hit the stop button, there's no turning back. You must wait patiently until your opponent either stops his score or loses. Also, if your dice roll comes up with double ones... Math Jack, exactly. But you have to add. Then your game is over. Oh. Okay. You just lose if you get double ones? Go ahead and start your engines. Uh, I, I mean dice. <laughs> Hollow dice. For real? What happens if you don't add them up right? All those wacky droids. Wow, he has to hit his buttons too! I didn't see him back there. Awesome. Glad I'm not the only idiot that has to do this. That is correct. Now that's impressive. What happens if you don't add them up right? Oh, whatever. I can kind of get this though. You know, it's, it's down that track of like... Trying to visualize mathematics for kids, so when they're doing math at school, whatever, they can imagine pit droids firing into their head. I get it. Not to mention, you know, if you 
if you teach kids to build a mnemonic device around your brand, you've got them pretty deep into your, into your ecosystem. This music, what is this? We went from the tropics to, uh, to Persia. Promised the steel drum, but this is pretty good. One more dice roll, and your droids could be in big trouble. It's on you now, Bulba. Look at how happy my droids are. I see you know how to count, Mr. Bot. Two plus two, indeed. Some of the man. It's not the it's not the biggest meme on the block. But I am... Wait, he can't possibly win. Well, I guess he could win a three. I'm a big fan of the memes of, uh... The Sheaf. With different subtitles or photoshops or something. <laughs> Playing fucking Warhammer 40k. You guys all know what I mean. I trick through a half meter plus deep snow. Come home from a long day of work and this is what I have to come back home to. I want a hot... Hot dinner on my table, and Star Wars math on my television. You deserve it. This is a weird game. Somebody made sprites for droids lemmings and was super disappointed this is what they had to make. These, the, I'm pretty sure these sprites are from pit droids. This game is actually using some assets we've seen in other Lucas Learning titles. I don't, I actually don't think pit droids was under the Lucas Learning brand, but, um, how do you lose? You go over 30 or they get closer to 30 without going over. I do have hot dinner, sort of. Girlfriend made like 40 gyozas for me to consume. Gyozas are always an interesting meal because it's almost like pancakes. Like it's delicious, but before long, you you'd very definitely get to the point where you've had enough of them. <laughs> Bulba, you're about to get wrecked, my dude. Let me slap this button and win. <laughs> Shooting dice like a pro over here. Metachlorians are hot. Dumplings are meant to be filling. Ah! Booly, booly, booly. That's actually a good joke. I like that. Those are great. My wife and I make them from scratch, and we go through twenty each per meal. That's a that's a good gyoza feast. All right. Well, I think I'm done rinsing you for today, Sebulba. Um, I guess I'll go fly. Maybe it's even numbers. Okay, maybe. You all right. Space all right, it's arrow keys. Worth it. God, it's too, it's too fast. I was wondering if uh, doing an easier difficulty would get me more credits. Because I'm, I'm gonna guess the end of the game is saving up for a hyperdrive. Play an easier difficulty. This would be cool. I would like this a lot if I were a kid. I could see uh, asking to go to the computer lab to play this. Yeah, I know. 
to say. You got a lot of ten junk. credits. And the asteroids being destroyed doesn't. I'm to buy some more I got one credit per. What the hell is this? Need more. I gotta pay for gas? Maybe, maybe it's worth more. Yeah, maybe harder difficulties are worth more. I know what I'm doing. Oh no, I don't. It doesn't seem like uh, it doesn't seem like shooting the asteroids is really important. You don't seem to get points for it. He talks so much. Oops. Fucked it up. Oh. Oh! Going too fast. I wasn't even really looking at the map. The map is kind of useless. It's so encouraging. This is like... This is what you play for four hours because your parents have a meeting or something. This is all you've got. So you're just like, okay, fine, I'll play again. Oops. <laughs> Fuck. That was not a pro gamer move right there. You blasted into space Oh. Wado's gonna. Wado's gonna really ding me for that one. You got a lot of space junk. It was better. Here are your credits. 51 credits, all right. I gotta gas up again. God, that costs a lot. I lost 100 credits buying gas. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, shit. Shit. Shit, all right. I can't make any money doing that then. What the hell was that? Are you serious? You have to be like... You gotta stay out in space forever. So why would you get a better... God damn it. Oh, maybe I need... Greater range and endurance. Maybe I need more of... Just more upgrades. Booster colon system. Yeah, I... It feels like, just based on the price, the hyperdrive is what you want. To, uh, to get out of this bullshit place. Oh, crap. Um, it did feel like Watto's or Rat's Race was the fastest way to make money. Because some of those minigames were like 50 each. And they were all pretty fast. I need greater range and endurance. I agree. I agree. Ready for another rat race? You gotta throw down with Rat first, though. Oh, that reminds me. Maybe, um... Maybe more of the games can, like, click to hard and then you get more credits that way or something. I don't know which game would be reliable to, to win credits with, though. This is the only one that's, like, not relying pretty heavily on luck. Except for maybe Jabba's thing. Yes! Watch out, galaxy! Rats has arrived! Printing is enabled? Unfortunately, no. I've tried to do it before, and it doesn't connect to the, like, win modern Windows print drivers. Also, my, uh... My printer's out of ink. Uh, I ordered more, but it hasn't arrived yet. It's out of yellow. 
I just wish there were a way to spe speed this up. You did it! You're on your way now! Subtract one of these two numbers from the other correctly. Oh, good answer. See, that's 75 creds! Oh, wait. Yeah, that points, points just... You got a puzzle piece! Credits right away. <laughs> I like the look of that number. Printing is quite the investment. Well, I wanted to print a screenshot I took from Cyberpunk as well. I finally beat up that asshole with the sniper rifle under the bridge. So I took a screenshot and I wanted to print it out so I could stick it up on the wall <laughs> for a little bit, but... My printer had other other plans. It was hungry. Yeah, printer ink... <laughs> printer ink lasts for exactly one use. Or is one greater than... Or less... Oh, good answer! Hey, where'd you learn this stuff? Congrats. See, I'm stacking up them creds. What about putting the picture in your digital photo frame? I gotta fix it. It's actually broken right now. I don't know if you can see, but it's stuck. I need to open up the frame and reboot that stupid tablet. It's been stuck on that for at least a couple of weeks. Because that frame is also falling apart. I've taken it apart so many times. So another part of it is I need to get a, a, new, a new frame for it. And, uh, oh no. This is going to be a weird uh, thing to ask. Have any of you used a tablet in such a way that it just shows like pictures or rotating photos 24-7? And if so, have you... Uh, what brand was it? I have found that most uh, tablets can't run an application while plugged in for days and days at a time. Something fucks up. I like it, I like it. Woohoo! I got a puzzle piece! Spin and win, that's my motto. Great motto. Wait, so do I need two green pieces? Is that what I'm seeing here? Or do I already have green? The credits are yours if you can add the numbers up correctly. Not bad, not bad. I have an original iPad mini that's basically obsolete now. I've been trying to think of a good use for it. I'm not using it as a digital picture frame. Don't they sell specialized streams that do this very thing? Most will not play GIFs. Um, that's what makes it tough. Finding a, finding one that has GIF support is the real challenge. I've been actually thinking about, like, building a Raspberry Pi and connecting it to an LCD or something. But that's a lot of equipment and, like, that's a lot of hobbyism to get into to just make a, a digital picture frame. But yeah, if I could like install... I'm sure that there's like photo apps built in, built for Linux or something. Or like a, a web browser and just point it to, uh, can't confirm that works. Yeah. It's just, a, it's a lot. It's a lot to bite off just to get a, a picture frame. But I've been thinking about it. That's it! I've completed my puzzle! Now I can enter the center path and win the game! Something to do. You're right. Yeah. You know. A GoFundMe project? I thought about that. About, um... Trying to see if I can, like, manufacture them at scale. Probably get away with just like, attaching a screen to the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. Are you losing? I think I'm losing, yeah. Yes! Watch out, Galaxy! Rats has arrived! This by old use tablets and frame it. Uh you can't for the aforementioned reason that they all crash. Um I've tried I've tried using a variety of older tablets and wrong, but this should do it. Most of them will just freeze, lock up, it'll just close the, the the app that you're running, the the screenshots through. Yeah. What are the chip winnings used for? Uh, Jesus. 
for um, ship parts. I'm trying to buy a hyperdrive so I can get off this rock. 75 points, hell yeah! Those numbers look good. Yeah, beer. <laughs> you know what I spend my chips on? Fucking beer. Cases and cases of beer. Man, it's been a long time since I've just like had a day be a beer day where I'm just like, I'm just gonna smash beer all day. <laughs> Is the save file for this in plain text? Good question. Maybe. Wouldn't surprise me. So you can ultra hack it. Oh, good answer. Hey, where'd you learn this stuff? What are you even doing? I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the right. The. I call them like puzzle pieces, but I'm trying to land on the appropriately colored spaces so I can fill in my fish. So I can try to go to the center. Chuba lips. Good job, rats. <laughs> Proud of you. Spin and win. That's my motto. Christ. It's just math trivial pursuit. I mean, you're right. Yeah, no, you're you're 100 percent right. It, that's all it is. But it's Star Wars. So I have like, I guess, four turns to try and land on this pink. Send uh, send Rex back to start. That's okay, I'm still stacking up these credits. That's why I'm here. Spin and win, that's my motto. How can you be streaming and uploading to Twitch at the same time? What magic? Woo! I did some work before I started streaming today. That's typically what I do. So, no, no, no. I have to use my made the thumbnail, scheduled her up. I got the right answer. Woo -hoo! <laughs> my brain hurts. <laughs> Any exciting projects coming down the pipe? Potentially, potentially. Uh, it's your turn. I am trying to convince somebody to spend money on something. <laughs> Aside from that, I want to get back into, like, YouTube reviews. God damn it. Fuck! Um, I just kind of waiting for a game to, to like, really dive into. Uh, or rather, wait, kind of waiting to finish Cyberpunk so I can try to do a review on that. I think what I'm also going to do is, like, just shorter recommendation videos of just, like, hey, I finished this game, here's what I think about it. Something that's not quite so top to bottom. Something for older games that can turn around a lot faster. I'm curious if that will be, uh, if anyone will, will be curious to watch something like that. New Hitman? Potentially, yeah. You got good brain. I need to start. The reason I wouldn't do that, actually, is that I did not play Hitman 1 or 2 f since the reboot. I always meant to. I just didn't. Um, so I almost feel like I... I don't really have the context to talk about Hitman 3 so much. I have played all the other Hitmans. So I like the series. I have... I feel like I have some base to talk about it. Video essays? Probably not. I don't think, uh, maybe, <laughs> actually. I realize that there are a couple of things I could probably make video essays on that would be, uh, that people would probably like to watch. I could probably talk about more, like, technical aspects of games. The ways that graphical engines work. What certain graphical effects are and how they work. Things like that. I could probably do that. Love to watch a Lara Hitman stream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream it coming up. Um, Hitman 3 has two inside of it, right? God! Where it stops, only the force knows. To win your credits, you have to subtract one number from the other one correctly. Uh. Not bad, not bad. Simon 3 have all of them? I thought it might. You have to own two on the same platform. Okay. You can't have one and two in it, I'm sure. Okay. I have one and two on Steam. I got those games, and I was excited to play them. I just never found a good jumping off point for some reason. I don't know. So. There's a lot of Hitman left. 
That means you get to move anywhere you want on the board. Hm. I got troubles. Did it put me on the purple? Oh, okay. <laughs> My path walker is safe. What? Oh, you don't have to go back to home if you're in this path. Oh, well, sheesh. Can't think of anything coming out soon. Uh, the medium's coming out soon. Uh, there was another game. It's coming out next week, I think. Oh, Everspace 2 came out. There's a new, there's a red out, a red out branded space shooter coming out really soon. Um, but yeah, they're pretty, they're, they're a bit smaller. God. Add the two numbers up, and you win the credit. Try adding those numbers. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, that's why. Oh, good answer. Hey, what's new Binding of Isaac. Oh, there is? There's a new Binding of Isaac? Oh, the, it's like the super final ultra re-release, right? Hot Takes Tub, you do videos of you and a guest getting sloshy and a light beer and complaining about things you don't like in gaming and society. Yeah, I don't know. Complaint, complaint based content. I like that. That sounds fairly good natured, but. Round and round it goes where it stops. Oh God. Only the force knows. A Bravely Default sequel? Yeah, is that? One of these two numbers from the other correctly. Nice job. Pilgrim's Progress Streamline. Ooh, I should go back and I, I should play through that. I wanted to. All right, fine. Just end this. Sh oh wait, if you lose, you don't get to keep your credits. Is that, is that for real? Oh fuck. Oh man. Oh. You. I fixed the air out. Oh. <sighs> Hack that save file. Okay. <laughs> um. God, this is gonna. Oh. It's gonna mess up everything. It's gonna all be messed up. I don't know where the save file would be. God, fucking. The second you get, uh. I'm just gonna check my documents folder. I don't think it's in here, but. Hmm. Maybe it's saved in the, in the, uh, the folder itself. Lucas Learning, Star Wars Math. Yeah, okay, maybe. Players, hmm. Hold on. No, that's not plain text, unfortunately. But I, that may not be it. Let's see what's in here. Data. So one killed my phone call players. Hmm. This was made for actual kids? Yeah. No hacking today. Sorry, you gotta look at that for a second. Because this moves all my windows over. I might have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to tab a little bit to... To get it all lined up again. Just get good. Now that is the actual only true acceptable answer. Um... Oh boy. Uh, fuck. I mean, I think I have to win. I have to win like a game of rats race to get enough Hello, money. <laughs> Can I buy the fuel? That seemed like the most important. 68. I can buy that. Good choice. Now let's see those credits. I like that I have like a coin dispenser on my belt. <laughs> What's up, Horror Hokum? I'm doing very well. Just haggling, haggling over some parts with my boy here, Watto. So I can buy another one. Modular energy storage system, which can be stacked to provide even greater range and endurance. Oh, okay, like each one you buy? Uh, upgrades your thing? Or is it like a one-time use? What does that check do? Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Shield boosters, fuel cells, and blast. Okay, they just fill up. Uh... I would, actually, but I can't afford it. All right. All right, ship's upgraded. Fuck it. Let's just get out there and make some money. Nobody said it'd be easy out here in, in, in space. Oh, too fast. 
was a big one. God. It's so hard to get this ship going at the right speed. Ah! already going so poorly. God damn it! It feels like the hitboxes for the, the debris and the asteroids are so much larger. Fuck! So much larger than, uh, than for debris to pick up. Fucking God. Ugh. Very stressful. Don't! Why am I doing this? This is mad disorienting. Yes, it is. Slow down! This fucking thing. It's like, it's got two speeds. Way too fast or way too slow. Like, why am I creeping up in speed? Stop it! It's like it's either going up or going down. It won't just stay at a nice... Okay, fucking finally, I think. God. All right, now I can make some money. It is so finicky. Uh, well, whatever. There's really no way to target anything either. It just kind of does what it wants. There's so much space trash. Yeah. This is all the debris from the Death Star. I don't know why I'd be over Naboo in the past, but it is. Turn to Watto's hangar without running out of gas? It's the only way to keep my hard earned money after all. Making... This is producing a general sense of discomfort. Uh. Oh yeah, the little arrow down there. That might do it. I'll get 50. Oh! Oh! Wait, where'd the fuel go? There you are. Alright. Get 50, and I'll go back with a nearly fuel gas tank. Stacking up them galactic credits. Hey! Well, let me refill. 
refill my shields. Okay, well. 150 is not that... Not that much. It's really not. Um, not uh, this is gonna take forever! Crap! Why do I want better, better like, engines or shields or anything? It doesn't seem like something that matters. That's a fine ship part, if I do say so myself. Be sure to pay me credits equal to the price of the part. And it's you. Thank you. Part is yours. You need to go to the ship hangar yeah, okay. and install it on your ship. Would you like to buy another ship part? Thank you very much. <laughs> nice doing a bit. Fuck, I made it time for cool math games. Joke's on you, there's not a lot of math in Star Wars math. <sighs> Equal to 73 minus 47. Why would you do that? Why would you do a thing like that? Yeah, it is 26. Cool. All the better, it's Friday. Hell yeah. Only nerds do math on Friday. We're cool because we like Star Wars. I can't... I don't know what I want to... Like, what... Uh, I'm having a bit of a crisis here about... What the most efficient way to get get that hyperdrive is. I'm also technically not 100% sure that that's... Maybe if I buy better blasters and I just come out here and annihilate everything. Just shoot everything and never stop shooting. And see how many... How much credits you get for just killing everything you see. I don't know. It lists asteroids, but I'm not convinced they're actually worth anything. Because, boy, they didn't pay out very well. That piece didn't fit the rule. Cast magic missile? I'm on, I'm saving it. What if you run into a boss? Do the hand thing from the Matrix to really all explode? Okay, like late stage god Keanu? The only self-actualized man has the power to blow up robots with his hands. You it. You it into space. You it into space dust. Suck Star Wars math. I'm sorry, I said that out of hurt. So much shit in space, you guys. You wonder. Every 
time you pick up space junk, there's just more space junk. Uh, what am I? I zoned out real hard there for a second. Right? Do okay. I thought this game was going to take off once I could start flying around. Well, it didn't really, didn't really happen. Alright, I'm going to pick up some gas. Fix my shields. You blasted into space Get my paycheck. There we go. Your fuel to say you got a lot of space junk. So it's it seems pretty clear that space junk on higher difficulties is worth more. But still not worth much. And golly, that's a lot of asteroids shot. It doesn't really seem to have affected the payout much at all. Oh. Maneuverability. All right, let's try something. Greater than twenty. Wait, what is? Hold on. You just like fly in a straight line at maximum speed. Hey! there's any saving us. The Star Wars experience. This is pretty cool, I guess. I don't know why I did that. I don't care. None of this matters. Oh. Shit. Oh. You didn't see greater than, so any larger number? I guess so. I don't care. Uh, you could thank Elon Musk for all that junk? Yeah. Shit, man. Um. <sighs> yeah, I guess you gotta really rely on the payout from, uh. From Rats Race. Actually, wait, hold on. Let me go to, uh. Let's see if there's another game where I can maybe crank up the difficulty. Okay. I can make Dijoto hard. Let's see, let's see how much winning a round of Dijoto on hard is. Oh, okay, all four. All four are things, that's interesting. There's no... There's no lock cage, there's no ball cage. Oh, come on. Time to sell yourself for sex? I think I could do that. Lord knows Raylo has unparalleled animal magnetism. I'm missing the steel drums of, uh, of uh, hut checkers, though, I gotta admit. Oh, fuck. 
you. Ooh, I love this game. Match the target number, 3,892. Here they come. I think I will place this little guy here. Fuck. Come on. Bruh. Yeah, rip. Oh, wow. You beat me. Was that 30? I wasn't paying attention. Make the highest number. Oh, delightful digits. <sighs> it wasn't much, that's for sure. Where should it go? How about. Here. Especially for a non-guaranteed win. At least a win of, of st stupid Team to No. Uh. Ratto? I'm forgetting his name already. Who cares? Doesn't matter. He's dead to me. <laughs> uh, at least that dude. Like, you can almost clear a thousand if you, uh... If you actually win. That's pretty good. Roy Turp, thank you for the prime. Rats race, that's it. So I'd have to like, I'd have to win like three rats races, three or four, to buy the hyperdrive and get the fuck out of here. I mean, that's almost optimal. The only way he could win is by having the three and the four swaps. Yeah. Oh, it was like fifty. It was like at eighty something. How do I keep forgetting? By a blaster instead. <laughs> Rob somebody. Good. Give me good I think Can I ask you to talk to the internet? Is back to being a regular thing. I was listening to it out hiking. It's it's for a while. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, we all just had a little have a little more time now. What oh, was it? Eighty nine. Okay, so it's thirty. Yeah. Yeah, that's not not great. I guess that's about how long a round in Rats Race takes, but the plant, the the payout's gonna be a little bit higher. Oh, Surfing Potato, thank you very much. Yeah, Stephanie found some amazing house plants. I love the, I love big like Jurassic Park looking ferns and I love plants that look older than than civilized life. So I do like that plant a lot. Hey, what's up, Lucky Senpai? Welcome. Uh, all right, so what's what's the goal here? I want to get out of this rickety ass, gee ass solar system. Twenty five hundred. Okay. Fuck. I'll be a, whatever this thing is. I don't want to be here, rat. You did it. You're on your way now. Compare the two numbers. Are they equal? Nice job. You got good brain. Congrats! You got a puzzle piece! You didn't answer me? What the fuck was that thing? What? It was Tito! Team Toe? Everyone knows Team Toe. <laughs> round and round it goes. Where it stops, only the force knows. Multiply these two numbers together. It's so like the right answer. And okay, yeah. It just stacks up. Not bad, not bad. Congrats! You got a puzzle piece. <laughs> Hi, you're playing. This is this is a sport. Stand up. Hi. Hi, you're. Oh. This, you mouse over this, stuff and he explains this it. This is Rats Tyrell. He may be little, but he's a giant when it comes to this game. This is the Nabulin puzzle. Look at the number and move your game piece that many spaces. 
Oh, you're on Naboo. Yes. Subtract one of these two numbers from the other correctly, and you win credit. Not bad, not bad. Congrats! You got a puzzle piece. You? <laughs> I was starting to think I'd never get on the board. I guess you can't. You can't exit the starting starting thing unless you roll a particular number. Spin and win, that's my motto. Welcome to hell. Subtract one of these two numbers from the other correctly, and you win credit. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Those numbers look good. Please tell me this guy died in the movie. I know he blows up, but like you know. <laughs> there was no shot of a red streak. Of a rat's Tyrell spread out like butter on the uh <laughs> Naboo and Desert Cave Wall. This is nice. This is a good way to spend a, a good way to spend a Friday. A little Star Wars math and friends. Good times. This is this is what life's all about. <laughs> a little Star Wars math on a Friday. A winner of a spinner. Can roll a one or a two. A two or two. I'm slick as a slime toad. Slick as a slime toad. <laughs> round and round it goes. Where it stops, only the force knows. Compared How many more baby games are left? One more, I think. Equal to each Jar Jar's Journey. Is one greater than which implies a lot of Jar Jar, so it's like very worth getting stop? excited about. Are you planning to play after this? Cyberpunk. <laughs> I like the look of that number. I'm gonna put more time. Do uh do all do the act three side stuff I guess. I'm I'm heavily getting into or I'm quickly approaching the part of the game where I just go around the map and knock off all the yellow yellow activities. <laughs> I'm slick as a slime toad. Eat my ass, rats, Tyrell. <laughs> Look at the number and move your game piece that many. Charger journey is a heavy drinking stream. I agree with that. Yeah, maybe next Friday can be a drunk stream. I hope, hopefully, I'm at best voices. I'm at best seems to be reprising Jar Jar in a lot of these software titles. So, have you played Revenge of the Sith on PS2? No, I've actually played very few of the Star Wars games from that era. I got the right answer! Woo -hoo! <laughs> My brain hurts. It's a gem. Yeah. A lot of the episode three, well, there weren't many episode three games, but the ones that came out were, were pretty solid. I remember playing the episode three Game Boy Advance beat em up, and that one was really good too. When do you think you'll play 14 again on Will You Be Wednesday? Yeah, that's where I'll, I'll slot it in. Oops. Whatever. I still did it right. I like the look of that number. Orange. Oh, that's right. It's a chance. Oh, I need to go for those more then. I think I'll move here. Yeah. Yeah. If I get there, at least there's more opportunities to land on a green or an orange. I got a puzzle piece. Your finish fallen order? Yeah, I did. Finished it on uh, <laughs> Jedi Grandmaster, which was a really fun difficulty to play it on. Actually. That's my motto. Compare the two numbers. Are they equal to each other? Oh, good answer. Hey, where'd you learn this stuff? Where did you start when you decided to play every Star Wars game? Like Atari era? I didn't it wasn't every Star Wars game. It was every uh every game based on the prequel movies. So, 99. Uh, the games that came out with episode one, and that's kind of still where I am because there were a lot 
tons of games and episode one adjacent games. Still kind of stuck in that right now. About to graduate into the like, about to move up to episode two. Spin and win, that's my motto. So you can't share spaces? Oh. Oh well, that's fine. I needed green. Did you do pit droids? Yes. I had, I have, I have pit droids somewhere. I better get moving if I better get moving if I'm gonna come to you. You puzzled it out. Or else you could always just play like not these games. I could. But I like, I like. I like forcibly diving into windows of gaming that time forgot. I'm I'm basically Indiana Jones, and just as cool as Indiana Jones, but a gamer. So you know, the coolest person ever, basically. I got it right. I love this game. Spin and win. That's my motto. Compare the two numbers. Are they not bad? Not bad. <laughs> kind of biting the macaws territory. I'm not not intentionally. Plus, macaws big about like he goes a little little deeper than the 2000s. No, he doesn't. Never mind. When I start playing like a Taiwanese mobile game that came out in 2004, that's when you can accuse me of swimming in macaws' wake. Depend on playing LucasArts game after finishing the Star Wars prequel games. Um, maybe. There's a few LucasArts games I've never played. Maybe some of the Indiana Jones ones leading up to the, the game coming out. Oh, who's Macaw? He's a he's a, a pretty prolific retro streamer on Twitch. He plays just loads and loads and loads of basically 2D beat em ups and stuff. Shoot em ups. Big like sprite based retro gamer, but more than just like Nintendo, like he, he goes real deep. He'll he'll like set up emulators for old flip phones and stuff to play play some stuff. I love this game. SNES Empire Strikes Back. Oh man, that game's tough. That game would actually be fun to try to figure out how to like beat like a normal gamer, normal human. I don't think I ever did that as a kid. I never played Day of the Tentacle. Uh, Dark Forces would be interesting. I like it. I never played all the way through Dark Forces One. Yeah, it's hard as hell. Um, SNES, uh, Super Super Empire Strikes Back. I mean, that'd be a fun experiment to see if like, because retro games, it's almost like you've got to find the you've always got to find the glitch, the angle, whatever dumb little thing you can use to to cruise through boss fights. I am ahead of him though, so. Star Wars Bounty Hunter was my favorite as a kid. I'm really excited to get to those. The games that were more core market, um, but but also like probably really steeped in the design norms of the time. Can't keep the SNES Star Wars game straight. Which one were the JVC games? Um, that was that was the Indiana Jones collection, and I th I think the Star Wars games were JVC as well. Compare the two numbers. I could be wrong. Star Wars Doom is best Doom. Oh, I gotta play more Doom Eternal too. <laughs> Malcolm, what's the what's the problem? Are you talking to? Are you talking to Rats Tyrell? Oh, man. You better get used to it. We're making we're making some stacks here. We're making some creds. And I think we're destined to get this peace orb. So by the end of it, I'll probably be up like a grand. That means we only gotta do we only gotta win three more. Two more. Two more uh, games of Rats Race, and then we can we'll get that hyperdrive, and we are gone. We're just gone. We'll dump our trash and go. Get out of here. 
Peace. Okay, so you do get to keep your crit. Oh, you get a bonus if you win. Okay. Actually, one more ought to do it then. Oh. Do you think you'll help Bruce Hole and Jacob do the... Uh, Rise of the... Wait, Revenge of the Sith. Script of memory. I don't know. I do, it seems like they've got it all covered, you know. I, I, I like... I'm a Star Wars fan, but like they are, they are the Star Wars fans for sure. I just like drinking. So... I don't think that earns me a spot at the table. Uh, not quite. All right, I'm gonna take a. I gotta use the restroom. I'll be right back. See you guys in a minute. Video games. Back. All right. We made up. We made some fat stacks last time. Um, Steph, I'm I'm playing. I'm playing Trivial Pers Matthew Pursuit with Rats Tyrell. The acclaimed pod racer that went and then blew up. So I know, I know his future. The oh, fuck you mean nonsense character? Rats Tyrell. I just told you that. No, they found a nonsense character. <laughs> this is no, no, no. This is this is what I could imagine. Somebody, somebody contacted Lucas and said, "Look, we want to make a Trivial Pursuit game." And they're like, what we want is, can we use a Jedi? And you have to talk louder, Steph. What? You gotta talk a little louder or get oh. closer to the mic. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to distract this you, is, but. Well, I was gonna say, this is, this, is, this is how I can imagine the conversation went. The people who made Trivial Pursuit went to Lucasfilm and said, we wanna make a Trivial Pursuit game. And they said, we wanna use it with a Jedi. And then Lucasfilm proceeded to laugh hysterically and said, absolutely not. And they said, well, but we can we use like any of the Sith? And then they continued to laugh again hysterically and said, no, that's absolutely not approved. That'd be cool. And so they said, well, who can we get? And they said, um, let's go through the list. So they went through the list and they were like, what about this one character who died basically immediately? But they didn't, they probably got the rights to this character because this is the way that we <laughs> Because that's the way that Lucasfilm works. And they said, you're going to get this character. And they probably made this game before the films came out. When did this game actually release? Did it release when it? 2000. So it released when? It was a year after episode one. Oh, God, that's even worse. What do you mean? That's even worse. So they had to, they had to know that that's what they got. That they got like a nonsense character. Like He's they so probably cute. tried Look to fight even harder nonsense. to get a better character. And they were like, no, we're not giving you anybody of any importance. How dare you. They were like, can we even get Watto? And they said, no. <laughs> they said, you get, this is all you get. This is, this is it. This it's, is, this is it. It's an iconic They're like, can we get scene. a Womp Rat? And they said, no. <laughs> They're like, but at least people know what Womp Rats are. No, you don't get that. You get this dude. He makes the explosion that Anakin gets to drive away from really cool. No, that's, that's his that, body in that that's, explosion. That is it. That's a very cool and memorable sequence. We no, all remember. That's, it's not cool and it's not memorable. <laughs> that's, that is it. Wow. That is legit the worst. It's never that is, all, that is all that they gave him. That's what's sad. That is the worst. It's funny every time. They were like, this is all that you get. You that's it. And they had to they had to accept that because they were like, if this is <laughs> you wanna make you wanna use the license and you want you want a character, this is the only character that you can get. Uh. And they were like, okay. And they had to get art. They had yeah. to get art to make this. He's been redrawn. It's a different style than he is in episode one. He's got stupid little legs. He gets he gets that squat. Yeah, because he you don't actually see his body. They had to. Yeah, it's, it's somebody a, had to draw him. You do. It's just on fire. Or, <laughs> well, or they only had the top part of him, and they had to like guess, yeah. and then they had to send that back to Lucas, and Lucas had to be like, yeah, I guess that's what his legs would look like. Like somebody on the Jedi Council had to determine. Whether that's actually what his legs would look you like. You don't think George Lucas had like a stack of napkins somewhere with this character drawn to like immaculate no, George, detail? George Lucas isn't involved in any of that. Although if it's I talking, choose not to believe that. Although, I so I've told Lawrence this before. 
And when it comes to things for the films before they become released or anything like that. So because I worked on, I worked on stuff for content for Force Awakens before it was released. And I was working on a mobile title that had content with the Force, the Force Awakens. Um, we went to Lucas and we said, look, I, we work on Star Wars Commander. We want to feature content for The Force Awakens. And they told us, sure, you can do that. By the way, you have to sign an NDA if you want to work on this. <laughs> and it was an NDA from Lucasfilm that was, I was like, but we own you. You have to sign an NDA. Okay. We had to keep all of the files in a separate room that only five people could get a key for. I didn't even get a key. I had to sign a special document to get a key to go into a room to see any of the files. Oh my god! Um, and we got we were told here are the characters. Um, here are the characters that you're gonna get, and you can see like these are the ones you'll get to implement. All of the pieces of the game, um, that, or the 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 assets that we were given that we could implement into the game, had to be reviewed all the way up to Kathleen Kennedy. So even our our trailer that had like tiny little snippets, like tiny little things that we did, it was reviewed by Kathleen Kennedy and she gave us feedback. And that was the weirdest fucking thing. We were like, doesn't she have other shit to do than review the trailer for our mobile game? Like there's gotta be other things. There's got to be other shit going on than reviewing things for our game. Maybe she just really likes Star Wars. It it was the strangest, the strangest time. Like, uh, there was also whenever um, I would have to go up to, to Lucasfilm to go and do, um, like, visits at the campus. Yeah. Um, which Lawrence, Lawrence had to deal with my trips where I would have to go up and do my, my day, like my weekly flights where I'd have to go up to Northern California and work in the dev studio. Um, there was one flight that I had to go to Lucasfilm and I had the strangest Uber driver. The, the one that was going to fly me to Oakland airport. Oh yeah, that one. And, uh, when he picked me up, he's like, Oh, uh, were you at Lucasfilm? And I was all, oh, shit. <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah, I was there for meetings. And he's like, oh, oh, so uh, you were there for meetings, huh? So, so what do you do? And I was like, shit. Um, I, you know, it's just, I, I just meet with people. I work in marketing. That's it. And I tried to change the topic. And then he started trying to tell me he worked in VO. And he started doing cartoon voices. And then... I was very worried I was going to miss my flight because it was very trafficy. And then he tried to tell me that he would drive me to Los Angeles and he wanted my phone number. And I was texting Lawrence and my friends in San Francisco. Like if, if I have to get out of this cab somewhere in Oakland, can someone come and get me? Like if I have to take another car or something, this dude is trying to like, he's like, I'll just drive you. I'll just drive you to LA. How about I'll turn off. I'll just go ahead and turn off the meter. Like, I'll just say that I dropped you off. And I was like, no, sir, I'm going to get out of this car. <laughs> and I am going to, I was like, Lawrence, Lawrence, I might die. I don't know what's happening. I need to get out of this car. I have never jumped out of a car as quickly as when I got got to the, like we got to the airport. And he's like, do you want me to wait? No way. And I just like <laughs> leapt out of the car and went running. And I was very worried that he was going to save my information and try to text me. Uh, it was very awkward. And I actually did report him to Uber because I was like, that dude freaked me out. It was very weird. That does sound very weird. Um, yeah. He was so close to living a Star Wars dream, though. <laughs> he, he had the perfect Star Wars movie in his head. And if only Disney would listen to him, Episode Nine would have been way better. Yeah. He could have done it, stuff. He could have saved the galaxy. God, it was a, uh, yeah, that was the fact that when he started doing voices Ugh. and was just like, let me, let me go ahead and tell you, like, I, I do all these voices and I was like, oh no, I, a whole galaxy I am in my mind. trapped. I'm, and I was like, I opened up like maps and I was like, okay, how fucking far am I from the airport? Like, let's see what, and I was like, fuck, there's, there's bridge traffic. And it said 45 minutes and I'm like, oh, I have 45 minutes stuck in this fucking car with this dude and i was like okay do i put on headphones like let me try to put up nope he's still talking he's still just gonna keep talking to me he's still just he's gonna keep going all right there it is 
great. Um, yeah. I wish that I could have taken Lawrence at least once to Lucasfilm because as a guest. So he could have gotten the tour and drink coffee because they have a coffee house at Lucasfilm that's called Java the Hut. You can go to Java the Hut. Oh, and it has a little Java on the outside. We have a little coffee mug and a stupid yeah. little like a stupid little T Rex arm. I took I took a picture of it and I was like, Lawrence, it's Java the Hut. <laughs> I thought it was the greatest thing ever. It's very, very great. I'm about I... to kick I'm about to kick uh this dude's ass again. Matt's Tyrell. Rats, there it is. Rats Tyrell. The most Rats. important character in Star Wars, and I'm all, I'm grateful and glad that he's in Star Wars Mad Job as a Games Galaxy. No, he he existed for 22 seconds, and they put him in this game. This is how important they thought. Oh God, there it is again. You're gonna you gonna put it up? Oh wait, that's his fiery death. <laughs> there it is. This is also what's weird. This is like a children's game. Yeah, he dies. So he's dead. He, he's crazy dead. He's fucking dead. And Big they're like, death. children, he's hosting this game. So if kids are like, wow, he was so cute. I want to learn more about him. And then you just bring up the clip <laughs> of him dying. <laughs> that's fucking, that's cold-blooded. Straight up cold-blooded. That's all. Hey, is that's that a life. goat? What the fuck is no, that? No, play, play Gun Gun Frontier and we'll, you'll learn all about those things. I think they're called like... Raps, n nap, tap. There was something that was like something A P P. I can't remember the first letter. Anyway, they're native. They're native fauna of Gunga. Wait, is Naboo? <laughs> oh, so okay, Naboo so, is what I meant to say. Is it? Well, because I was about to say like they live on Naboo. It's not like a country. It's like a space. It's the Gungan frontier because the Gungans um, are trying to equalize the uh, ecology. But it's a four planet Naboo. But they're just, we all knew that. But they're just like, but they live on Naboo. Like they don't have their own world. Yes, they do. It's down there. It's underwater. Look at you. But you can see it right here. But it's not their own world. Like they don't have. Like it's not the planet Gunga. Well, you it's, think every you think the Nabooians uh, get to decide? They get all the water too, just because they live on the on the planet. Well, it's called Naboo. It's not called Gunga Naboo or Gunga. Maybe they Naboo call it Gunga. Gunga. Maybe they call it. Maybe they call it Gunga. Maybe they do. No, it's it's called Naboo. Nobody, there's no hyphen. There's it's, no slash. It's really racist of you stuff. That oh, it's racist. Yeah, stuff. like your your name is the only one that matters. Jeez, come on. Are they the true inhabitants? Is it because they they started out as like little? I guess I don't know little if tadpoles. It's hard to say. I mean, it's I think it's easier to assume that Gungans are native to planet Naboo, but it's also possible that they're an aquatic race that colonized Naboo. There's really no. I guess yeah, does it does it go into that? Are we are we trying? Are we can are sure? The let's do it now. The Nabooites. What do you call them? Are they are they Nabooians? Nabooites? Nabooians? Did did they ever say they had to right? Because they they introduced them as like their senators and stuff. They have to. Oh, Gungans are the native species. That's actual canon. Awesome. Good to know. The Naboo? Okay. So they're, uh, I can't remember the name for that. What you call the, the descriptor. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, maybe we'll get a Disney Plus series that explores all of this. God, I hope not. I hope. <laughs> that would cost too, it would be too much CG. And in like five years, it would look really terrible. That's what I could, actually, I do want that. No, I take it back. Yeah. I want it to be so bad i want it to be like Demonym. mortal That's the combat one, annihilation bad i want it to just look like episode two just bring that back all of it uh and then have it be nothing but like senatorial meetings and stuff on the planet naboo where we can hear about the yes we can hear about the uh Your little social goat tensions got stuff i hope this puts me over 2500 if so it's gonna be it's gonna be big gamer time i gotta go buy fuck i gotta play again all right uh, I have to get a hyperdrive. I'm saving up the credits so I can buy one so I can get off. Do you off. only play against the nonsensical nothing character rats? Uh, in this game, yes. Uh, in other games, I can play against Team Toe, Te Teemo, Team Toe, Team Toe, Sebulba, 
Who's we know an Sebulba. asshole? And Job of the Hut. Turns out Job of the Hut loves checkers. <laughs> That's because he's strategic. He is. He's got a he's got a keen mind. He plays like a plays what? like an asshole. I'll say that. Why doesn't he's he a real asshole player? Why doesn't he play like poker? Because he likes gambling. That would I have mean, made more sense. Like there are poker that adjacent would be more games canning. in this. I agree. I agree. No, no, like a lot of these games actually are are structured like gambling or wagering. What is this? What is this? But you don't actually wager what? What he are you doing? He doesn't die. What oh. is this? Co- no, no, he did. I don't believe any of this. Let's see here. In the comics, Rats doesn't die. He fell into a coma, and when he awoke, he realized that his wife remarried and his children hate him for neglecting them to pursue <laughs> pod racing. Five years later, he's working at a coffee shop where he meets the monkey lizard of his dreams. Unfortunately, she gets cancer and dies. At this point, Rats sees no point in living until he tries to fulfill his dream of winning the pod racing title, and sadly, he dies in another fiery crash. Wow, that's real meta. That, did they have the trade paperback for that? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I would read that. That sounds like a fun tale. I would only read it if it was an erotic novel. Yeah, how does how does how does rats get down? He if, looks extremely smooth. effectively. He doesn't look like he has anything down there. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe he would like squeeze eggs out of his tail, or like his tongue would do something. Maybe. Man, boning in the Star Wars universe has got to be a minefield. weird beak I got a puzzle piece all right I'm gonna leave you alone now okay I wish this mic around which means you guys get to hear rats again ow it's your turn Press this spinner, did you guys miss that music I bet you did I feel like I should have maracas I am okay with this like this bossa nova Press music yeah, everyone missed Rats Tyrell, right? V Rats Tyrell, hell yeah, bro! Shit, dog, is that Rats Tyrell? Missed the comforting rasp of rats. Congrats! You got a puzzle piece! Puzzle piece! Those numbers look good! Ooh. This is it. One last ride. We've almost got the money. Another puzzle piece. Oh, it's all cut now watch down. like you, you load the hyperdrive on your ship. You go and you hit the button, and it's just like it just puts streaks on your screen, and that's it. Zoom. Wow, hyperdrive sure are fast. It's your turn. Maybe if I do it again. Zoom. Wow, hyperdrive sure are fast. Uh. Crap. Almost. Stretch break time. Yeah. I did a little, did a little internal stretching. I'm gonna wrap up Star Wars math, and then I'll take a bit longer of a stretch break. I like it. I like it. Juxel, that's true. I've certainly seen what uh, erotic encounters with uh, varied biology look like. Better get a movie FOV of them, of them leaving. That'd be nice. I mean, there was a there was a cool little animated intro of the ship bouncing around. Oh, I'm oh, getting it wrong. This game makes me wish I'd stayed awake in school. <laughs> Look at the number and move your game piece that many spaces. Spacious. These two numbers have to be multiplied together. Oh, good answer. Hey, what'd you learn this stuff? <laughs> Takes you to the casino planet last seen in The Last Jedi, and you get to use your gambling skills on the wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> Going up to the big leagues. Damn it. That's actually. That sucks. It sucks a little bit. Why can't we just play Sabacc? Because that doesn't. You can't dress that up like an educational game for some reason. Oh, it has to be odd. Okay. This number looks like a winner of a spinner. A winner of a spinner. What is what is happening with this game? Whatever, Rats is gonna get his. I think we all know that. Time's the brakes, Rats. 
<laughs> Not bad. It's going to get these two numbers have to be multiplied together. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I like it, I like it. <laughs> you ass. Purple's what I needed. Well, maybe oh, I can get this orange this piece. This game makes me wish I'd stayed awake in school. Nine is an odd number with even number energy. <laughs> I think that about five. Round and round it goes where it stops. Because like, five is odd, but it's halfway to ten. And in, in a lot of ways it's half. And what's half? Two. <laughs> nice job. You got good brain. My prediction, George R. R. Martin will join George Lucas on making a new Star Wars movie. It will have explicit sex scenes. To attain perfect accuracy of close encounters of the third degree, the duo of George's will simply employ only the top hentai artists, and so we will see Shadman in the credits of the box office hit. Yeah. <laughs> God. Shadman is a whole other thing. <laughs> Stops. Only the force knows. Keep Shadman away from the uh, the broom child. Multiply these two numbers together. Oh, oh God. Answer. Knowing Shadman, he's already done something with Grogu. <laughs> Let's not think about that. Grogu's too nice, this too pure. Looks like a winner of a spinner. Mm -hmm. wow, 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 wow. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't want to look. I haven't seen it. By the grace of God, I haven't I haven't seen the work of Shadman in a number of years, but And I apologize if I accidentally introduced him to members of chat with a curious spirit and an intact soul. Here we go. I can smell that hyperdrive. Nice work! You puzzled it out! You puzzled it out! Now you can enter the center path to the Naboo Peace Globe. Yeah, it's not a Nabooian Peace Globe. It is a Naboo Peace Globe. I like the look of that number. Wait, he... Even Shadman didn't do the weird Wonder Bread Lady art? That's shocking. <laughs> round and round it goes. Where it stuck, compare these two shapes. And this up. Not bad, not bad. Look at a beer tonight for me. Only one, please spare me that much. Um, what was the last night you had? Whatever whatever the opposite of the last one you had was. If you if you were coming off a of beer night, liquor time. If you had a liquor night, make a beer. The fuck is this Wonder Bread thing? I think I did. I think it was like a hard netting at one point, but there was a guy who was going around commissioning artists for like a specific kind of woman, buying tons and tons and tons of Wonder Bread. Like that was the that was the. Uh, it was a very specific fetishistic thing, and a bunch of like commission artists. Like one person sort of anonymously posted about a commission they were asked to do. And then other people were like, "That you got asked that too? Oh. Can I link a YouTube video explaining it?" Yeah, absolutely. That sounds uh, that sounds innocent. The credits are yours if you can add the numbers up correctly. Oh, what? Oop! I messed it up so badly. <laughs> This number looks like a winner of a spinner. Yeah, Bosk is correct. You can like most stuff in chat, especially if it's on topic. I got the right answer! Woo! Rich, plump, blonde, blue-eyed with huge tits buying a fuckload of Wonder Bread was the description, basically. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, it had it had uncomfortably Aryan overtones. Is uh is kind of the the discomfort around it. How's Big Knee Lover doing these days? Oh, I haven't checked in on Big Knee Lover in quite some time. I I hope well. Hopefully, Big Knee Lover found more big knees. I got the right answer. Woohoo! <laughs> My brain hurts. 
was a weird <laughs> that was a weird Google search. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the same, right? Oh no. Oh no. My spatial <laughs> You got good brains, he says after I cheated. I still follow Kiss Cactus, he's cool. He is, yeah. Steve Garufi is just an all around awesome dude. I think I should follow him. I got the right just bought the wrong textbook for my class, I'm gonna jump off a bridge. Well, surely you can return it, right? Especially if it's still in shrink wrap, or if they still shrink wrap books. I don't know. It's all digital, right? Maybe, maybe that means you can't. Nice job! You got good brain. <laughs> I like the look of that number. Oh, huh. He was abs he absolutely was not just a normal guy with a weird kink. This shit was his life pretty much. He had a lot of talk about consumerism, slavery, and capitalism, and why they were all good things, almost to the point of a religion to him. He tried talking to me about his commission of a comic, I believe, I saw me cutting down a rainforest and industrializing it like a weird undertone of loving san sandwiches. Everything he talked about in this aspect came down to sandwiches with him. Oh, yeah, let's get that hyperdrive and get out of this hellhole. Exactly, Ruby. This weird alternate reality uh, purgatory where everyone plays bullshit games for credits. Yeah, peace outside. Oh boy. You owe me credits equal to the price you see on the ship. I actually kind of like this idea of forcing, like, having kids physically hand over money and seeing their account get smaller while somebody else's gets richer. I don't know. This thing that's like, yeah, you better get used to this, this terrible feeling. This is the rest of your life. You better adapt to it now. Uh, so many coins. Just throw coins on the counter out of spite. Thank you. That is yours. You need to go to the sheep hangar. Oops. I was close. All right. I mean, it's there. Okay. All right. Uh, bye. I don't care. Bye. What does this do? Oh, okay. Is this it? Did I win? What is what is bid me goodbye? Bye, buddy. See ya. All right. Sick. We did it. Another game defeated. Hell yes. That feels good. That feels real good. <laughs> and credits. Uh, just had to go around the block a couple times with rats, Tyrell. Think about all my all my memories, all the good times we had together. That's when I was setting up a joke for the edit, but <laughs> do you maintain a list of every bit game you beat? I tried to. I tried to, and I got, I don't know, I fell behind. I should add this to it. We'll see if I remember. I remember thinking like, oh, well, I'll add that later, and then I forgot, so. Doesn't have all the games that I beat it, but yeah, I've beaten. I need to keep up with that, though. Now that it's my entire livelihood, it's everything I live for. Oh, look at him, that's a little. That was the puppets from the last game. Wow, well. Ooh, okay. That makes this makes way more sense. How would, wait, how could you do this game two player? Unless you just ask somebody to not look at the screen. Well that was pretty good. That wasn't bad at all. Co-op one run on when I need to get 
Let me get Steph in here. I'm gonna play the plug and play DS and GBA games. Um, plug and play will be a challenge unless I can find those on the internet. I guess that actually not that hard now that I think about it. Um, so yeah, I, I need to track those down, but DS and GBA, I don't see why not. Those are easy. Turns, I guess. Yeah, but the other person has to like look away or something. That's weird. Maybe not. Actually, now that you, since you don't know the order you're going to get, you just know as soon as you've lost, which is can be pretty early. Um, all right. All right, well, that'll Star Wars math. Another game and the Star Wars prequel-thon concluded. Next up is Star Wars Jar Jar's Journey. Here, let's, uh... Let me, uh... Let's, let's go back to normal here. Let's... We're back in the... In the Lord's hallowed 1440p. Full widescreen. Hold on a second. Because I don't know anything about this next game. Let's see here. Oh, shit. Whoa. Look at... Oh. Let's see here. Intended for children four and up. Good. Featured Jar Jar Binks. Great. An interactive tale with 14 animated pages. Jar Jar's Journey is a CD-ROM designed to immerse children ages four and up in the exciting story of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. In this adventure book, children will read along with Jar Jar, Queen Amidala, Anakin Skywalker, and Qui-Gon Jinn as they follow Jar Jar on his exciting journey from the Naboo Swamp to Tatooine. Okay. Play, color, color, read, and play games. And a sticker book. Okay, well. One more. <laughs> one more of these, and then that brand goes away for good. I Actually, there may be more Lucas Learning titles, but yeah. Uh, that'll be next Friday. That'll be next Friday. Uh, but now, a break. I encourage you all to get up, stretch, have a snack, have some water, hydrate, and I'll be back with Cyberpunk shortly. See you in a minute.